Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, because we're going to be playing two 7800 games tonight. Very exciting. <laughs> um, welcome everybody to the show. We're broadcasting at 60 frames a second, so make sure you're watching at 60 or you're missing half the action and half the cats, mm -hmm. because they blink in and out every second frame. Um, but Atari is here. Yes. And he's not blinking in and out. No. He's got his eyes closed. Oh, sweet and cat. And Pixel has just wandered out of the room just oh, now. He's yeah. like, oh, people are talking. Yeah, no, leaving. done, done. <laughs> <laughs> Space cats. Yes. Tip, 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 yeah. Cameras powered up. Check. Yes, yes they are. Yes, yes, um, we're going to be playing three games tonight. Popeye 7800. Yay. A non-port? A port? Port? We'll see. We'll see what... Uh, <laughs> it's by Daryl Gunther. Gienther, uh, Daryl 1970, uh, Robotron 2084 exclusive work in progress update mm -hmm. by John Shannon. Oh, Excellent. Exclusive. That's a great one. Oh, too. we just got a new subscription. Thunkus, thank you so much. You've got an emote. Thanks to Thunkus subscription. I'll go thank. There we go. And thanks for the hyper lost. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, it's like a question mark above eyes. Yes. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Thanks, Thunkus, for resubscribing. Yes. Um, and also, Cafe Man 2D resubscribed Yay! just before the show started as well. Excellent. Um, there, Cafe Man 2D's name is on the list already, and Thunkus. So they're keeping up their subscription. I think I have to, uh, resubscribe. Have to resubscribe. I think my name's dropped off the list so Ooh, i wish it no. would remind you but it never does you just notice all of a sudden your name's not there anymore so oh no we would have had a the longest list ever well if next, you had your next, name on there next episode yeah. <laughs> um we're going to be also playing spire of the ancients by smitty b who is in the chat Yay. tonight with us so he can answer all or any or none of your questions <laughs> depending on his mood yeah um i want to thank all the twitch subscribers <laughs> Ooh, Tanya, you look very badass with your arm Arm tat tattoo. <laughs> Duran Duran shirt. I mean, come on. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. Al Nefer, Armscar Coder, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalox, Charles and Check, Coconut 81, Dan AVC, mm -hmm. uh, Daniel Medina 2600, Drexel, Emmanuel Ferreira, Glenn Main, Gray Defender, Ground Trooper, H... H J O U rapper twenty six hundred. Mm, that's a new name. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Johnny W C twenty three. Jupiter Storm seventeen. Carl G. Croco twenty six hundred. Mark Space Inc. Miss Command. M K Smith. Mister Fix. Muddy Funster. Nathan Strum. Packrat VG. Quahog twenty six hundred. R C seventy. Repentless VG. Ricardo Pim. Smitty B seventy eight hundred. Socrates zero six zero three. Spartan five eight one. Spiceware. S Ramirez two thousand eight. The D train thirty seven. The Welshman eighty nine. Thunkus. Tiki Dan K. Tim of Legend and Tifo. So many names. And uh, with That's yours, good. it would have been like 42. Oh! So many. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you could support the show and subscribe for free. Everybody's doing Duran Duran lyrics now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, cat cam. Pixel yeah. came in. Pixel came in, and now they're fighting, but now they're just outside of the cat. You can see his tail. You can see the black tail. Oh, they're trying to... to label that cat cam still. Um, you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime yeah. and click subscribe and you get your name on the side there right beside a uh, Duran Duran t-shirt. Also be sure to follow <laughs> and subscribe and click like on all the things Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter because I post there once in a while. Mm. Um, so we have some uh, mail news and feedback. I got an, uh, an email today, mm -hmm. hours before the show, mm -hmm. panic. So I included right. it. Yeah. Uh, it's me, Tom from Germany. Mm. Maybe you remember my little game, The Little Edge One, uh, played on your show. And that was uh, the one where you jumped over buildings and you got the cherries and there's a sun going across the screen. Oh, yes. And yes. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. I vaguely remember and that we, one. Uh, yes, yes. And we won it. Yay, we Yay. won. <laughs> um, so I think I have a huge up to date to the homebrew community. I'm going to share it. I've redone the multi sprite kernel from Batari Basic to improve and boost the graphic capabilities. Uh, now the multi sprite kernel is more useful to do games near the graphical quality of assembler games without the hard times of coding it in assembler. Mm -hmm. um, because Batari Basic is like a higher level programming language for the 2600, where you don't have to learn all the details of the ins and outs of the 2600 machine. 
And what they have is built-in kernels or kernels you can access that you say, here's the sprite, plug it in, here's the play field, plug it in, and you don't have to necessarily like hard code it. It's kind of got general um, plugins, I guess, okay. for it. Yeah. Um, that you don't have to fiddle with too much. But um, so his features on his that uh, he is proposing, uh, he says uh, vertical scrolling, multicolored play field on each two line, two line kernel max, mm -hmm. uh, six multicolored sprites, three sprites from player zero flickered, three sprites from player one flicker, any sprite. Uh, could have a different appearance. Any of those can be all different looking. You can use new size to copy scale sprites, each, each sprite independent. You can use REFP to reflect sprite shapes. It flips them mm. backwards. Uh, also independent for every sprite. Choice of three different kernels, 84 line, 42 line, and 21 line play field. Uh, two line sprites, four line sprites, eight line sprites. Um, so if you decide you want to do Robotron 2084 resolution or outlaw resolution game. This was posted nowhere. <laughs> this was emailed to me. I'm sure he will post it very soon um, after he's, uh, after I've said it, um, or work on it a bit more. He says, what is missing? Uh, I think, I, uh, I think about, I'm thinking about doing an asymmetric play field. Um, so it's symmetric. That means the same on both sides right now. Mm. Uh, Multicolored background. That means... Right now, it's all the same color Solid in the color background. background. Yeah, yeah. Uh, eliminating the missing PF zero play field, left and right borders, and I eliminating it. Eliminate the missing. How can you eliminate something that's missing? Anyway, so I'm not sure what he means there. <laughs> so right now, it's missing probably. So you get a, everything you put on a line takes up time mm. on the twenty six hundred. Mm -hmm. So some of the the kernels that you can use for Batari Basic, there's a payoff. Like mm. you can use this and this, but not this. So if you want to use that, you have to get rid of one of those. Yeah, okay. So. Your balance. Um, yeah. And also, he would like to reposition sprites instead of just flickering them. Mm -hmm. So he's got six sprites, and he's flickering them all right now, which mm -hmm. is eh, not the greatest that thing that you want. So he's going to try and el eliminate that right now, which would be very good. The flickering of the sprites is not too bad, I think, because right now they're flickering at 20 hertz um, instead of the full 60 hertz. So every three frames it shows one. So it's, it's like on par with Pac-Man, which is... Or they... Oh, I think they do it at 15. Anyway. Um, it would be awesome if you could show this little demo on your show. So he made a, a program to show off what he's done uh, for this so that people can take a look. Uh... I've only tested on Stella, not on real hardware, without phosphor blending, which is what we have. Mm. Uh, it would be awesome if you could show this little demo on your show. Uh, if the community finds it useless, <laughs> useful, <laughs> useless, if they find it useless, <laughs> forget it. Yeah. If they find it useful, I will publish it to the Galaxy slash Atari Age. I'm not sure what Galaxy means by Galaxy. Mm. To the Galaxy? To the, the whole Galaxy? The Atari Age Galaxy. Yeah, just yeah, our maybe. Galaxy. Maybe. Milky Way. None of the other ones. Uh, I hacked the assembler code of the multi-sprite kernel version 1.5, cleaned and changed it completely, I spent around two weeks on it. I'm not an assembler nerd, just a little boy. <laughs> Discovering Atari coding. Stella sto shows no scan, scan line issues. Mm. Um, there is one when you run into Playfield, I noticed, but that's the only thing, so it's really good. Timing just right on my Mac. The reason for writing the new multi-sprite kernel was to do one day a better C64-like version of my favorite game, Track and Field, which is a very fun game on the C64, actually. And I've got the controller for it, too. I always hated, uh, always hated the ugly sprites from the Atari 2600 version and loved the C64 for sprites so much. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can do a show sometimes playing only sports titles for the console. Hmm, that's interesting. Maybe... Actually, it might be good to pair it with Champ uh, Champ Games because mm. he's planning on doing some sports titles. Oh, that's cool. I mean, cool. we did a football one, so we don't need to do football anymore. That's done. But maybe <laughs> he's all like, the football done. done. Never again. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't understand it. Hockey, enough. hockey, hockey. Yeah, yeah, hockey would be good. Uh, I like hockey Olympics games. Olympics twenty twenty. Yeah, we could do it during the Olympics twenty twenty, which take place in twenty twenty one. You know, they're not renaming it. They're still calling it the Olympics twenty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> well, I fun. guess it's every four years. It so is. They're not. You're just delaying it. Yeah. 
But if, yeah, that is funny. Yeah. That is funny. Um, so now we can show it. Um, <laughs> Until champ football arrives. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll do champ football. Then, then, then we'll have to just go, okay, fine, uh, we'll do another one. <laughs> football again. And we'll, Zero page homework. Curling! <laughs> curling. There is a 5200 curling. Is there really? There is. Curling's a fun game. So you've played curling, so you... Know. I poorly, but yes, yeah, I have, I have. Curling is actually pretty fun. So and and murders your murders your knees, but uh, a lot of bending and a lot of bending, a lot yeah. of sweeping. Then you fall on the ice and uh, yeah. Anyway, so here is the multi sprite kernel. You can take a look mm. at it. So mm -hmm. there are six enemies on the screen right now. Oh yeah, and this is uh, the player character. Gotcha. It's very very dark colors, unfortunately. Uh, the reds are not showing up against the black. Oh well. yeah, there's like a maroon dude yeah. in there that you can barely see. Barely I think, on the see screen. the maroon. Yeah, he's about the same on our screen. Mm. Um, but and you can see the 20 hertz flicker um, because they're using um, player player one for three of those enemies mm. and player zero for you, the double one at the top and mm. another one. And, but this is a scrolling play field, which I'm not, like, I don't know all the kernels in Batari Basic, because I've never used Batari Basic, mm. so. Um, he says the, the scrolling kernel is, is something special, um, that um, it's not available. Anyway, there's, you can shoot as well. Um, this is just a test, because usually during tests you just throw everything at it at once to show that you can do everything at once. Um, pal colors? Mm, no, this is this is the colors. This is the real. Maybe it is. Let me see. Oh, where is he from? Germany. Oh, it might be pal colors. You might be right. Let me just take a look at it on no, the see. original system. Sorry, I'm laughing at Captain Classic talking about curling a shuffleboard for humans pretending they are miniature gnomes. And that brought me back to being <laughs> it, like in Girl Guides where you had, like this is from the uh, 80s, where you were parts of like groups and you had little gnomes and I believe they did have brooms. The, no the gnomes had brooms? I can't remember now. Anyway, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> oh, it's definitely not pal. Looks pal. Pal colors no. on NTSC? No, it's not. No? It's just, he just made a demo. Um, it's 262 lines, one. Yeah. So that points to NTSC. Crunchy. And I just changed it to pal and everything went... Crazy? Just black and white. Oh. So this this is, he just didn't pick very good colors that yeah. stand out. Yeah. But it's just a demo so yeah. you can see um, what can be done. And he's got a score kernel at the bottom of three mm. numbers. One of them is a little bit far away from the other ones. But anyway, it's just a demo for now. Uh, there's no scroll at Atari Basic using multi-sprite multi kernel by default. So that is an upgrade. So there is no scrolling play field on any of the default uh, Atari Basics. So that's what he wanted to add in for options. Mm. Um, I do like the virtual sprites being a mix of P0 and P1, but the 20 hertz is going to be painful, especially on real hardware. be interesting to see where it goes. So mm -hmm. he proposes that he's going to get rid of the flashing. The, okay, the flicker, yeah. Yeah, and, um, unless you need it, because if yeah. the two players go on the same line, yeah, that's different. you have yeah. to flicker them, yeah. because yeah. there is only you two. You see, yeah. 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 But if I put my guy there, there should be no flicker, because mm -hmm. those are independent on their own level, on their mm -hmm. own level, on level. And that dude going up the left, yeah. pink gorilla. I don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> still wouldn't make things flicker because that's its own. So every, there's only two maximum mm. on every line. Mm -hmm. But if I went there, you would have to flicker something. Because there'd be me, the red maroon guy, and the pink gorilla mm. on the same line. So he's working towards that, a non-flicker kernel. Mm. Uh, well, it looks like Chris can use this to rewrite Xevious. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> ZVS is a work of magic <laughs> but uh, it gets it closer I guess um, so let's go back to the chat um, so we were we're getting ready for some construction I know uh, you, you keep you keep mentioning but we don't know exactly don't when, know when so but we have to get ready point, for it anyway. yeah uh, DPC and standard kernel have scrolling this is a DPC plus kernel mm -hmm. by the way I don't think it mentioned it in there but multi-sprite kernel does not. Um, and we're going through all of our books. 
that have piled up over the years and mm. we're getting rid of some. Yeah, it just dropped off a load of books at a used books bookshop and uh yeah but you found a bunch of uh found a bunch classics of classics commodore 64 pushed to the back of, of the the book bookshelf so yeah commodore 64 uh programming books that mm. i bought in 1984 nice um nice. when i was trying to program for the commodore 64 yes. um there's this one tips and tricks for the commodore 64 um it is basic programming i don't i'm sure there's a little bit of peeking and poking and <laughs> a little bit of assembly here and there yeah but um, mainly mainly basic yeah it's mainly basic oh they've got some that's probably sprite data and then i have uh the machine language Main book camera please oh, oh you still got the yeah. tiny yep there we go that's there better there you go there There's we go look at commodore that. 64 tips and tricks very by nice. abacus software very nice i'm not selling <laughs> <laughs> not selling anything um and then the machine language book um of the commodore 64 also by abacus software and i'm just read some of that last night um because it uses the same uh chipset yeah um on the atari 2600 as the commodore 64 as it does on the Nintendo, as it does on a bunch of other machines, the 6.5 I'm just going to open XX. this. Yes. This. Yeah, here we go. What's One that? One of our favorite bookstores. Oh. Powell's yeah. Books from uh, Portland. Portland, yeah. I, I read something. Sorry to distract ever you so put slightly. It backwards. Sorry. This designates which side I'm reading. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's, that's, I usually just remember. 6.502. I, I was just going to say, um, Powell's Books has, has now taken all their offerings off of Amazon because um oh. i read that the other day you mean they used to resell on amazon they would resell on amazon and they just the said reasoning? uh just that they disagree with how um amazon sort of controls the entire book market and they've oh. decided to take all their used books off and be a local okay. retailer i'm sure they do well enough anyway <laughs> i just had to mention that because i found i thought that was really interesting yeah. you know that that they've made that choice but Can i digress you open the dryer oh it's yeah going off every <laughs> two minutes it's really it. noisy and then this third book um creating arcade games on the commodore 64. um nice. so i was this is this is a really good one and it's got you know creating sprites and you know joystick handling routines and collisions nice. um so i was really into making games i wanted to make my own mm. game back then mm. uh, i made some simple ones mm. um uh, maybe i'll show them on the show one day yeah well he back does still 80s, have all the discs so i do have all the discs <laughs> in the other room yeah um i think i, I made a, a tron game where two joysticks control the movement of tron cycles and you can crash into mm. the other person's tail that's cool yep and it's easy enough to make on basic so um i can't remember any of the other ones i made but i'm sure i made some other ones some text ones mm. that stored answers in a database what's your favorite color blah 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 what's your favorite food oh yeah and um i have a file that darcy typed his answers into <laughs> <laughs> nice. in the 80s of what his favorite stuff is nice and I and mine that. as well so maybe yeah. we'll do that on the show one day mm. and get those databases back out i stored them in like text files for each person so you nice. have to type your name exactly to retrieve it to retrieve it yeah, yeah. i was gonna say my c64 i did a little bit i might well my my parents won um uh, i guess it was spring break yeah. sent me on a ymca ym ym ywca summer camp yeah. and you got to split your day in half so you got to pick one topic in the morning and one topic in the in the afternoon so my morning topic was gymnastics and my afternoon to topic was basic programming for the commodore 64 <laughs> what a pairing i know so i i, I <laughs> and everybody did both and no you could pick whatever oh, you wanted okay. so they had a whole bunch of things so it was like mix and match so that was my my week of com computer gymnastics camp computer gymnastics <laughs> that's, that's what we refer to it as but but they taught us they taught us a bit of basic programming and to the point where most of it was just you know how to change the colors on the screen and then there was a bit of programming and simple programs and then yeah. it, it culminated in typing a program so a rocket ship would fly up 
to the top of the screen and, and go over and over again. But anyway, that was my basic programming as a ten year old kid. But it's pre it was pretty pretty interesting. Looks like somebody found do. somebody found this one. Yeah. On archive.org. Oh. So free. There you that go. is really good. If you wanted to, this is mostly in basic though. Mm. Um, but still still interesting. There's there is some machine language. Mm. Um, but I just really interested in this one rereading this one again machine language for the c64 because you know i've i've read daryl spice jr's um how to yeah on the 2600 i mean it's not machine language but it's programming yes in machine language for mm. this 2600 and um also andrew davies approach to programming 2600 and then this just re-explains you know um the different commands in machine language for the 650 whatever 6510 on this one um and the 6507 for the atari 2600 anyway enough of that <laughs> um, and i have a note that we should talk about the documentary series high score while we're playing games. is it high Not score right or yes, press high start score. high score i couldn't remember what what the... i'm sure there's game over is already probably taken game over press, press start, start yeah. high score it's high yeah. score well we'll talk about that when, when we're playing when yes yeah, yeah yeah we did we yeah because we meant to t mention it last time but we forgot yeah, totally so forgot. yeah 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 programming games in the atari in cobol <laughs> is not, not a not bestseller, a bestseller. <laughs> probably not uh, oh uh oh, oh, much machine school. language book for the commodore 64 1984 uh so captain classic found this one as nice. well nice yeah go. good find yeah now all you have to do is find tips and tricks yeah <laughs> or did you already find it up there yeah. anyway so we're gonna get onto the first game which is popeye 7800 mm. by uh daryl 1970 uh, this first posted August 23rd, 2020. This build is from August 25th, 2020. It's a 48K 7800 games. I'm not, not familiar with the structure of 7800 games, but this one's is a 48K. Mm -hmm. um, other games he's made, various hacks of 8-bit, 5200, and 2600 games. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. But first, we're going to take a look at where it uh, originated from. So we're going to take a look at the Popeye arcade game. I'm anxious to see this in motion. Kids uh, these days are missing out on the magic of Fortran. <laughs> <laughs> magic of Fortran. 48K is the largest 7800 cartridge without getting into bank switching. Oh, so it can access all 48K. Interesting. Uh, okay. So, um, can you turn off the Atari? Just so off? it's not running. Oh. Left switch. There you go. Uh, so we're going to go to that and bring up though it's already ready excellent mm. uh, oh, let's get the first game cartridge there we go and i have fixed the webcam delay because oh it was people, slightly off yeah, yeah it was too long so if people see it's pretty good oh uh, there's still a touch of delay it's not too bad though yeah it's better yeah <laughs> Okay. Was it really Oops. slow before? Yeah, it was like a second off or something. Multiple seconds. Mm. Or a half second. Enough that people are like, hey, it's off. Yeah. Because there was like cats moving in behind or something. Um, hopefully we can plug this in after it's started up. But if not, we'll just reload it and it should be able to catch it. Uh, because we're playing this through Java uh, JS. Oh, we're not playing this yet. Um, we are looking at the video. So hold tight and let me load up the video of the arcade game. Now, I played this game on my C64, Popeye, and I, I liked it quite a bit, even though the C64 version is a little bit chunky. Mm. <laughs> it's a little chunky. Okay, there we go. Bring it over there. Excuse nope. me. Let's control it. Yawning. No. I'm... Need some coffee? No, I had coffee. <laughs> coffee made me feel a little nauseous, so that's why oh. I'm drinking water right now. Actually, this is... Mm. No, that's no good. Let's do this. There we go. Let's just see how loud this is. Hopefully it's not too loud. <laughs> Oh, that's a little loud. 
So this is the arcade so version. Yeah. And you control Popeye, and you're trying to catch all the hearts. Yes. From olive oil. And you have to avoid... Brutus? Is Brutus, name? Bluto. I'm not sure Pluto? which one it is. Yeah. And there's a sea hag that's on the side that throws bottles at you. And he just threw a barrel on his head. Mm. And you can also get... Um, a power-up, which is the spinach, mm. which moves up and down between those two. Um, and you can go a around the screen at the top. You see where it says through? Mm. Um, and you have to collect so six many times hearts? four, 24 hearts. And you can see them displayed at the top left. Here it is Brutus, Kefferman, 2D says. Yeah, that's what I thought. And um, Brutus can jump down yeah i noticed <laughs> and you can also reach down yeah he's gonna reach down you, you can also reach you can't duck or anything you can't duck so you, you can't jump to... you can only use the ladder to go down mm. and you can use the stairs to go up and this guy's good at the game so the hearts are not reaching the the water and yeah. when they reach the water they start flashing and you have to rescue them if you don't rescue them it's uh, game over oh so or you have to get all of them so you have to get all 24 hearts. You okay. have to get every single one. Okay. These characters look fantastic. Yes, uh, and I was reading something about the arcade today, mm. and people were saying this is the first game that looks like a cartoon. Yes, it yeah. It was such high resolution yeah. that people were really blown away by the the animation and the uh, drawing of the, of the characters. And it's still really, really nicely done. Really good pixel art. Played this at the local arcade by me. I have never played this in the arcade. I don't think. Um, but I played it a lot on the C64. Mm. Um, this is the second level, which we won't see in the, the demo. Okay. The demo is just the first level. Yes. So, um, and then there's a third level. Uh, this one you have to catch the notes. And mm -hmm. then at the top you can see... Yeah. You have to fill all the notes. Oh, up. I see. So it has the same water. Really, really nice, yeah. It floats down. The notes are floating down a little bit faster, and there's Wimpy that catapults you up to the top, and you can catch uh, Sweet Pea. <laughs> um, uh, if it's low enough, and I don't know what that does for you, but anyway. Uh, then there's uh, the pirate ship, which is the third level, and you have to catch all the help, H-E-L-P, which builds the ladder up to the top. Oops the ladder up to the top there. But it has all the same kind of things, plus there's a bird that flies around. And you still get a, a spinach, which gives you invulnerability. And I think that is all the levels, and it just repeats over and over again, yeah. And uh, gives you a little Popeye. Nice. When you win, win all three, I think. Okay. So, really, it's a fun game, actually. It's really, really fun. Um, so, this is the 7800 version. Mm. Let me just make sure that the joystick is working. Where is the settings? Oh, it's covered by the chair. Game pads? None. Okay, I'm going to have to reload the, reload the page, I think. And that got rid of the game. <laughs> but that's okay. It happens. It happens. <laughs> so let's reload. Drag it over there. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Messy. Messy, messy, messy. Okay. Always this on the days should where work. you wear white pants, right? Okay, it's saying it's not there, but I think it, it'll work. You think it'll work? Yeah. I'll Give it a try. Work anyway. Drinking problem, yes. Yeah, it works. Out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Water drinking problem. Me? Yep, because I read. Oh, jeez. So you only get one life. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, you can't go around. Uh, through the through at the top. You should be able to. Did you oh, through the that? through at the top. There you go. Ah. So it's got the spinach. Ah, you got me. It's got the... Brutus, did they say? Um, it's got olive oil. Um, it does not count the hearts right now. Like when you get one, it just has a number. But that's that's fine. Oh, it's all over my tablet. My goodness, what a mess. Uh, so, uh, 
let's read about this. Actually, Popeye is a 1982 arcade platform developed and released by Nintendo based on the comic strip of the same name created by E.C. Seeger. Licensed from King Ventures, blah, 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 blah. And unlike most platform games, the player cannot jump. The only button is punch. So you can punch, I think. There's nothing to punch in this. Oh, there's um, the punching bag at the top, which you can drop on his head. Um, the game was licensed by, by Atari um, for the exclusive release in the uh, United Kingdom and Ireland um, and featured in an Atari design and manufactured cabinet. So there's a variance of this in the UK and Ireland. That's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. <laughs> How many did you get? Nine. Nine. Uh, you only get one life, though, I think. Yes. Like in the in this demo. Ah! Down. Ah! Um, the the Popeye characters were originally going to be used in the game that later became Tong Donkey Kong. Oh, really? So this this was going to be like Popeye was going to be in Donkey Kong. It wasn't it wasn't going to be called Donkey Kong. It was going to be called Popeye something. I'm sure. At that time, Nintendo could not get the license to use the characters because I guess it ran out, or they couldn't use it for another game. Um, uh, no. The game was ported to the TRS-80 Color Computer 2, Commodore 64. Texas Instruments, TI-99 4A, Atari 8-Bit, Intellivision, Atari 2600, and 5200, and ColecoVision, but not the 7800 until now. Um, and was one of the few games ported to the Odyssey 2. Um, okay, so, Daryl, 1970s, uh, post on Sunday. This is not the Popeye arcade game. <laughs> Please do not expect the arcade version. This was my learning tool. There's a history of my journey below the latest version. History. I didn't set out to make this into a game. Here's the general order of things. I wanted to learn about 7800, so I downloaded 7800 Basic on the 9th. It took me three days to figure out how to create a PNG file that would display on the screen. Once I figured that out, I cr uh, cr created a really rough Brutus sprite. He was animated for left and right movement, but moved anywhere on the play blank playfield. Eventually, I made Brutus go back and forth. Popeye was controlled by the stick, and Brutus would jump up if Popeye got too close. These days, a Popeye license is pennies to the cost of Donkey Kong mm. license. Not that you can get one from Nintendo. Yeah, they've never, ever licensed Donkey Kong to anyone else. There's just no point for them, right? Oh. Right into them. Yep. Uh, it took me another three days to figure out how to draw a play field. Even after that, it was pretty ugly. I had given up, but I decided to start over on the 14th. By the 15th, I started to get it. The 16th, I finally got it. The steps look kind of narrow. On the 17th, there's pictures. Uh, 17th, I decided to start the playfield over. The, the 19th, it resembled the current version. Not this one, but the one before. I started adding play elements. Finally figured out how, how to plot a background and made Popeye follow the board. Brutus just went back and forth, jumping occasionally. Then I added extra punch frames. Then I added olive. Then I made Brutus follow the screen, collision detection, spinach, a heart, uh, etc. It would require almost a full rewrite to change this up because there wasn't a lot of planning beyond the current code. I kept adding things. It would take planning to cons cons consolidate and add anything more. Uh, I also lacked the time to dedicate. I wasn't planning on releasing this, but I figured somebody might enjoy it. Almost like having Popeye. No, it's really it good. It is really good. Uh, it's it's a little faster. Just to, just see. It is faster, yeah. Just try to see how much you can score before Brutus gets you. The hearts will also fall into the water. You have one life and one level, so it's like an Odyssey 2 game with better graphics. The scoring is based on the arcade. 24 hearts clears a level. Level 2 adds some additional logic to Brutus. So there's a bit more on level 2. Oof. I don't know if the hearts ever sink. Oh, they sink no, a little they bit there. They, they turn white. Um, I also added basic sound because I felt it was too quiet. And then he did this update. Um, he added, utilize the full screen width. Can you punch the bag and drop the barrel in this version? Have you tried yet? Oh, I haven't. Okay. But it, I, how? Because there's no, you, nothing underneath it. You go off the edge it. and you punch it. Oh, you punch it from punch, off. Punch, yeah. From the top. So you go across. This side? And you wait for him to get under. Oh, oh gotcha. So okay. it does work. Well, it does work. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, utilize the full screen with the compromise, the number of sprites per row. To remedy this, I drew the heart, spinach, bucket, and punching bag on the correct sprite size sprite instead of using oh. the entire 16 by 16. I redrew the spinach platforms as part of the screen instead of using sprites. Ah. Added the screen shaking when Brutus hits the wall. So I've used the spinach and punched him yet? Uh, 
Punch I him. have, I have, I have punched him. Boom, shakes, nice. Very nice. Made adjustment to find the top and the bottom steps easier. Cleaned up some sound effects, repositioned the heart count. I tried to draw all the hearts, but it caused a major slowdown. I might try a couple of ideas later, but this is on hold. Eliminated the 30 points when bunching the bag. Sprites were not getting drawn. Um, slowed the, down the speed of the hearts on the first two levels. This makes it easier to camp out, but doing so will lose out a chance to use a spinach bucket. So it's a bucket. I never really looked up what that was. Tweaked jumping off the top level. Adjust the punch to lunge less like the arcade. Considerations. As time allows, I will consider adding bottles. I'm not sure what the sprite oh, limitation yeah, no will be. Woo! Yay! Level that was, clear! That was... Yeah. Oh, it's the same one again. Yep. Oh! He got me. So but, much for that. But it's, <laughs> one level. But he has more... Like he said, he has more animations? On the second level? Um... It's a shame there's only one life. You play <laughs> one life and then you're dead, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. As time will allow, um, I would like to consider multiple hearts. Mm. I guess in the top left to fill it in. I would like to clean up the sprites. If the above go well, I may consider refining the logic to consider a full game. Mm. And that's why I really wanted to show it on the show. Because this game is incredible for just like learning. He's just learning the 7800. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Like the animation, the movement, um, the graphics, like everything's here. He just needs to add in the bottles and um, boom, boom. Yeah, the bottles and the sea hag. No. Oh, that is so annoying. Amazing first attempt at a 7800 game, Captain Classic says. Hey, hey, Steve, hope you're... No, that's not it. Yes, it's a heck of a first game project. Looks great. Love that he utilized the full screen. Yeah, it's a huge, huge screen. Putting the DL into RAM might help with the uh, sprites. The DL. The DL. Not sure. Uh, oh, Arena Foot, put your score in there. 10 for 80. Oh, dri oh driving logic. Okay. Well, I don't know, know anything about 7800. Okay. That shows. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, there is no driving logic in. 2600 games. Mm. Not sure what that is for reference to. What a condensation. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, what is the problem here? The ice. I'll be right <laughs> it's back. slipping? Yeah, it just, you know, slides oh. down. It sticks. Oh. oh, it's sticking. <laughs> she does have a drinking problem. With ice. Oh my god. Does 7800 have a similar display list uh, to the 800, uh, 5200 bartender? Cut that woman off. She's done. There's no more water for her. Uh, display list. Basically a graphical object on the 7800. Oh, okay. Something flashes in behind there. I, I think it's his name. I could see him flashing for a second there. Don't know what caused it, but... Uh... Oh, flashed again. Don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's a couple graphical glitches, but they're not bad. You can see them once in a while. His, oh, yeah. The, art, the um, programmer's name comes up on the screen. Oh. Oh, it doesn't play the full song. <laughs> it, it's beautiful. He's done a really good job. Oh, yeah. Really, really good. Oh, Are you playing Beta up. 2, or is this a special build? It's not a special build. This is the one you can download off the Atari Age forum. Mm. So if anybody wants to get this one, it's completely available right mm. now. And completely playable. Oh, yeah. Completely it's, playable. You're, like You're not missing much. No, no. Like, I mean, there's no bottles, but um, it's still a good challenge. Mm. Oh, oh, no, 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 get away. It doesn't have the sound of the heart uh, in the water. Mm. The heart does like turn a... white. It doesn't flicker. No. But that's really... Yeah. 
it's because uh, there's like it the stress in. sound. Oh, I see. Yeah, like like the. Yeah. 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 What were we playing? Da, da, da. You were mentioning game. a game, the game Ducks Ahoy. Yes, Ducks Ahoy. <laughs> which I played extensively on the Commodore 64. Such a bizarre game. And... Bizarre and somewhat iconic. And like the moment you started playing with playing it, the song that starts off the game just stuck in uh, my head. No, 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 no. Oh, you gotcha. 13? I already got 13. But it's amazing how... Our memory for music. Yeah, yeah, the memory, the music memory sticks and, 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 you know, it's kind of funny. It smells and music are pretty... Pretty strong in the nostalgia. Yeah. 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 Memory and nostalgia. Let's see if I can beat level two. Oh, you're in level two? No. Uh, I made it to level two last mm. time, but I want to try and beat it. Mm. Because that's all the game is right now. It goes up to level two. Oh, just one. It doesn't get any harder. It, it's another heart level. So he, he didn't create a level with the notes or anything. So it's the no. same. It's the same level, essentially. Yeah, because he, he, he's the first line of the post is like, this is not a Popeye port. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a Popeye yeah, yeah, port. Yeah, fair enough. So people don't have an expectation. It's like, when are you going to do level two? Yeah. It's like, never. Never, well, hopefully never doing level two. <laughs> no, he's talking about like doing more on doing it, other so. games or, or, or oh, there you go. The oh. the heart does um, sink. It does sink. Yeah, that happened to me once. I was too. waiting for him to yeah. get under the bucket. That did happen to me once. Oh, it's very fast. Oh, not punching much. It's nothing to punch. That's not the thing. really. There's only the punching bag. Yeah, like you can't punch him. You no. can punch the hearts. I mean, if if, if it if, if there were bottles, then then you would use it. But there are no bottles being thrown at you yet. No. So it's pretty great. It is. It it controls really well. Um, it's very responsive. The animation, like it feels like really speedy game. It's not coming down. No. Well, I, I played a whole level when I got my 24 hearts. I just ah. stayed on the second level, and he stayed on, on the... Um... Oh, oh, no. Why did I wait for this? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, I stayed on the second level down, and he was on the third, and I just kept going back and forth. So sometimes sometimes his movement's repetitive. Yeah. Is The logic's probably not arcade perfect yet. Mm, like, I mean, it's for... pretty good, but you kind of... Oh, it's pretty good. Uh, other Captain Classic, other fun games without a jump button, Bionic Commando. Oh, yeah, that's a good piece of trivia. Because most games, like big games, I guess, have a jump mm. button. When you're, when you're a character, mm. right? Not when you're in like a machine or mm. flying or something. Um, or like a ball or something weird like that. But when you, oh, kind of change into a heart there for a second. Yeah, there's some glitches, but... Mm. Who changed into art? Um, like just something on the screen. You could, boom, boom, boom. Like just a glitch came up for a second. It looked like a heart, but mm -hmm. it might have been something else. I wonder if you can. No, he comes up the ladder. Trick him. You can kind of. Oh no, Whoa. no, no, no! Silly. Oh, it's coming down. I need that heart. It's very hard to get back to that second level. Oh my god. I need to get down that ladder. Once you get that flow going where you're on the second level down and he's one below you, you, you just gotta keep doing it. Very dangerous being there because he can come down the stairs. Oh good. Stay just there. Stay there. Don't go up the stairs. What are you doing? Oh. Stay on that level. You'll just get heart oh, after heart after heart. Oh my god. Oh, you gotcha. Anyway, made it to level two. Woo. Yeah. Incredible game. And I hope really it continues cool. on. And it's, it, looks amazing. it sounds like people are like really encouraging him to like, please keep yeah. going. It's yeah. so good. Complete it. Yeah. Don't just make this a test yeah. test game for it. Like nice. make this into a full game because it was never ported to the 7800. So it's, mm. it's something that's uh, 
would be completely unique. You're not recreating anything. Mm. So now we're going to move on to the update uh, for Robotron 2084. Yay! And this is an exclusive. Um, ooh, oh, we went up a bunch of stairs the other day. Yeah. To the <laughs> up and down to the beach. We went to the beach. There's a huge staircase. Oh, pops right out. It does. Oh, what is... Oh, the whole metal thing came out. Did you try to... No, it's not part of this. It's part of this. Oh. Because it's hard to put in when the metal thing's on there. Oh, I see. And then it just attaches itself to that anyway. Weird. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, okay. So, where's my mouse? There it is. Is it the 28th? Hmm. Yes, it is. Flying by. Goodbye, summer. Yeah, sadness. Hello, fall. Okay, we'll go for it. You guys have stairs at your beaches? What kind of crazy country do you live in? <laughs> one with uh, hills. <laughs> one's with hills and cliffs. Yeah. Um, so this is, uh, this builds from August 23rd. Um, what'd you do? I don't know. Hit the bin. Broke it. Done. Oh, Daryl 1970 says thanks for the review. Oh, thank you for making it. It was really Incredible. cool. Incredible. Yeah, it so looks really good. Well made and... Um, Plays really well. Maybe it's because we had that um, weird thing before. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it flickered. Hmm. Uh oh. That's interesting. <laughs> Johnny WC. Uh oh. Just in time to see it, it is, crash. But it can, well, tr well, you can try it one more time. I'm gonna try it on Stella. Okay. I'm sure it works on Stella. Oh, Daryl 1970 is now following. Yay! Thank you for watching and following. Um, so, John, it's not loading up. <laughs> um, Oops. <laughs> and I didn't test it out because why would I test it out? <laughs> <laughs> and that, that was your fatal flaw. Okay, well, obviously it's loading up on stealth. Do you have an Encore? Uh, yes, I do have an Encore. Um, should I put in the Atari box? Just to... What is this second thing attached to? Okay. Let's try it again. Ready. That's what I did last time. It's really weird. Really, really weird. Oh no, I forgot that this version doesn't work on the old Harmony. The old Harmony. Uh oh. We have an old Harmony? I thought <laughs> no, we had a No, we have new an one. Encore. We have an Encore. Yeah, we have a Harmony Encore. We have two of them. One That's of what's in of, there right now? Yeah, one of them is mm. out of commission right now because I destroyed it. Um, mm -mm. So we could play it on Stella. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Um, yeah, we're going to play it on Stella. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to skip the game. No. Not a big deal. So let's bring this over. Just means you have to play with that joystick. And I'm going to plug in the second joystick. Thank you, Ground Trooper. Thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. 23 months. That is an astounding number. That is. <laughs> scary and astounding number. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, we're going to switch back to the um, this, and I'm going to get it working mm -hmm. on Stella. So please hold while we adjust our sets. Our sets. <laughs> Do there not adjust go. your sets. We're almost there. There we go. Um, so I'm going to restart this. So you can see the intro. Johnny, Johnny WC, I can send you one that should work. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. So you can see joystick A, save key B. Mm. So it tells you what's in each um, port mm. because this is going to be supporting the quad Tari. Oh. So it's going to be like, oh, what do you have in port A? What do you have in port B? Mm. Do you have a save key and a quad tari? Mm. Or do you have two quad taris mm. for double joystick support? Which is enabled in this one. But I don't have a quad tari, so we can't test that out. Mm. Um, yeah, if you could email me or in the forums 
a port that works. I'm surprised that you'd be able to update it immediately. <laughs> no, I, I... Oh, later he's going to send it? What did I, you say? No, it scrolled off the screen if you want to. Oh. You can make zero-page homebrews. Def technical difficulty cards. You could sure use them. Uh, definitely. Definitely. Oh, Nathan Strum to make them. Uh, I can send you one that should work. Yes. Okay. Yep, I saw it. Okay. Okay, so that should still work. Oh. That sounds like... Um... Find Popeye in the background. Which you are. <laughs> That's really funny. That is funny. But if we put the focus on there, it should work. Nope. Yep. It's playing both. It's playing both at the same time? <laughs> yes, it that is. That is. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the, the Popeye. One second. Ah! One second. <laughs> Do decatory. Ha 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 ha. You are funny. Okay. Whoa. And I'm going to get out the other joystick so we can play two player and do all the things. All the things. I'm just going to send it now. Okay. Well, I won't get out the second controller, though. but I will take out the card in preparation for the update. Because we do want to play this oh. on a real system. I'll turn up the volume. It's going to make you pause. You're dying anyway. There you go. Am I? Am I dying anyway? Did it while you're dying. <laughs> while you're dying anyway. So this... Popeye 2084. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so remember we were having some trouble in the two-player mode? Co-op two-player mode? Mm -hmm. uh, where one... No, that was something else. I can't remember what it was. Let's see. Uh, the brain level and some other levels... What was happening? Oh, a whole bunch of people falling. Yeah. Thank you. I missed them all. Yeah. Crossbow, Is 77, and something. Yeah. I think James needs to play the two-player quad sticks. One set in the hands, one with the feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big system. Um. So, John. I'll wait for him. Mm-hmm. Popeye 2084 it is. Pop, Popatron. <laughs> I think, I think uh, it would be very interesting to have both screens up at the same time to see if you actually could play both games at the same time without dying. How how, how long you could go? That would be very challenging. I don't think you okay, could. Okay. So <laughs> I don't think you this, could. The updates since we last played. Um, you're going to play? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not controlling it, though. How come... Oh, Okay. Oh my god. Thunderbird help. Yeah. <laughs> no. Thunderbird. Oh, that's why, because I wasn't on it. Yeah, that's. that's. Can you close? Oh, I guess you don't want to close. Not really, not yet. Yeah. I'm just going to minimize those. Yeah, that probably Okay, won't. there you go. Yo, not great. Is, is there advanced? Stop, stop playing for a second. There you go, one player. Now you can go advanced player, novice. There you go. What do I usually play? Stand um, um, start. No, novice is easy. Um, too easy? Thank you. Yep. Standard. Yep. One player. Excellent. Okay. Just ramp myself. Welcome, up. Crossbow. Uh, fixed a bug where the memory was being overwritten when a spark or cruise missile was shot. This would cause many issues. Couldn't pick up humans. Collision detection didn't work on mutants. Grunts would pursue zombie mutants. Opposing player would die when the other player was killed. Game would crash eventually. What is the other setting? The can strafing? Oh. Uh, let's see if I can do it here. I think I think it's on. That me. should do it. Now. Yeah. Oops. Paused it. Paused it again. Thank you. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Much. Um. <laughs> Fix a bug where the tanks wouldn't fire when their bomb was destroyed. Oh, that sounds like a good thing. Um, uh, decrease the time it takes for tanks to start firing. Also made the dependent on the skill level. Advanced fires sooner. Added pixel collision detection for cruise missiles. Mm. Um, on the 0808 build, he added in a cruise missile turn animations on brain levels. Oh, that'll be really good to see. Oh, man. No, he's not doing so good. On the third wave, uh, uh, I believe uh, they're the uh, fifth uh, wave. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Mikey trick now works on wave 5, 25, 45, 65, 85. Previously only worked on wave 5. I can't remember what the Mikey trick is. Uh, so, 
Great Defender says, looking amazing as usual. So much activity going on at the same time. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, it's unbelievable, it's this one. Yeah, it's awesome. Go up. Up. <laughs> um, in modified co-op mode. Here's the brain level. Oh. What was the issue we were having? It was with the two-player, wasn't it? Yeah, it was two-player. I want to see things. Oh, they're turning. They're so cool. Ah, ah. The little missiles are going... Turning the corners. So awesome. Get those brains. Get the brains. There's my key. Ah, nice. Um, or an Erlen. <laughs> an Erlen, yeah. Uh, ah! For you. Joe. Oh, zombie. Nice. So many big. Oh, kill nice. absolutely everything on the screen. I love the brain levels. Uh, modified co-op. One revive for player, reset to one on death or new level. Player needing rescue blinks now. Previously glowed a solid orange or purple. Change the color player wants the main color's purple and the trim is white. Uh, shorten the delay between player death and able to be rescued in co-op mode. That's good. Oh my goodness, there's so much on the screen. <laughs> Missiles will uh, now move hulks diagonally when shot. Oh, I guess they only moved up and left. I sent you an update. Okay, so we're gonna. I have to well, do things, so it's gonna. You're gonna break have to. Your game. Oh. You just started again, so it's okay. That's okay. You're gonna have to. I'm not allowed to play anymore. Uh, you and can't I'm play. frozen. Yeah, you can't play while I'm doing They're this. getting me! Ah! Okay, dead. Uh, there you go. Everybody can see what the hell's going on. Okay. <laughs> You can flip it over. I'll flip it over for now. Because <laughs> that... I'll just sit here just and annoying. spill some more water on me. How about that? <laughs> so, you can hear the dulcet tones of Robotron 24, <laughs> 2084 in the background. Yep. That's good you're watching. and you're. Yeah. Uh, I think what's most unbelievable is that the gameplay is so fluid. It feels like coin-op Robotron on 2600. It is fluid. It it's is. an amazing game to play. And every and and yeah, it, it really does the shooting, the running around, and it's super fast. And there's so much on the screen, like it's it's incredible. Robotron. Oh, and yeah. John says, uh, "Steve, you play the same version on your encore, right? Not sure why it's not working for James. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I it's pausing special... at the Atari age. Uh... No, it it seems to finish, and then it goes flicker, flicker, flicker." And then just blank but screen. But you would expect it to co to stop, go black, but it actually doesn't. I don't know. That's funny. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know how it works. So um, it looks like a video issue, but everything. Is Carl video. G says I need two brains to play this one properly. It is. <laughs> it, it, there's a lot going on. <laughs> a lot of action. Yeah. Woo. So here we go. Let's give try it another again. try. At our Ready. Let's close. Let's just. Uh, <coughs> Minimize that. Use oh my kite. Goodness. Okay, pick up that. Try it again. Bottom one. E e yeah, that's the one. Drum roll. Yay! Amazing. Oh, nobody saw it. <laughs> that's okay. It worked. <laughs> it's what you saw last time. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Woo. Okay, I'm gonna plug. Uh, I'm gonna continue reading. Okay. Um, while you continue playing. Only John Shampoo could reprogram. <laughs> could know what exactly is going wrong. He said it's something with a chip. It and yeah. send it within five minutes. That's so crazy. Issue with a chip on the encore. Oh wow, interesting. So it's not my system. Eight twenty-two build, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's, it was still labeled the eight twenty-two. Just fixed for bad systems, naughty systems. Um, where was I? Missiles now updated. Spark graphics, so they're more solid. Updated the tank logic. Gross. Uh oh. Oh, they're still moving. So everything's not ironed out completely. <laughs> but it's still, it's still like operational which is really interesting 
Oh, I don't have the strafing. Is that difficulty oh. switch? Thank you. Definitely, more, definitely better. <laughs> more bugs for John. Um, updated the tank fire logic so they fire sooner on advanced and standard. Added save key support for high scores and settings, which we have plugged in. So now we'll be uh, saving all the high scores. Yay! Uh, added sound effects when changing skill level. We'll have to listen to that when we go back to the... Um, Every time you die? Uh, did it do it for the first wave? Three sets to try and die. Just die. Just die. No. I'm letting, letting them come to me. Okay. That's one yeah. Yeah, it's freezing. Okay, so try on a different mode. Oh, there's a the sound. What was I playing? Novice? I don't know. Standard, Standard probably. Go Let's for try advanced. advanced. Go die. Yeah, frozen. Oh no. I forgot I was right in the middle of adding in player two, two player. Mm. Oh no. Okay, so uh, we might have to go back to, to Stella? Stella version. Okay. Yeah. Because this is. Because uh, I have to reset every time. Do you want to try it on novice and see if it's it's doing it on novice too? Um, it probably is. Like no, you're not. You're not playing two player. Okay. No. Okay. Something funny going on there. Yeah. It was working in Stella though. Uh yes. Yeah. It's a nice way to get a look at the sprite yeah. animation. That is true. Because I don't... sent you one more fix. He said. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! Excellent. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! Live streaming. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. Get live updates. Third time's the charm, as oh, Ramirez definitely. says. Yeah. Definitely. You do get to, uh, get to see the sprite animation, which is nice. Yeah. It is very cool. Yeah. Let's switch that over so people don't have to look at that. Yeah. Blue okay. The blue screen of death. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he says, "Hi, James. This version should work." <laughs> <laughs> live coding. Yeah. It's um. But you can do virtual coding events, right? Like <laughs> That's right. It's okay, we're live streaming. Okay, it's broken. Who's the first person to fix it? <laughs> I mean, they do that for hacking events. Yeah, I, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Um, it's like the first person to hack into the system wins, and it's like real time. Yep. Um, yeah. Checked. I always find that really cool. Oh, yeah. How, how quickly people can... Uh, Works them out. Ready. There's only one there. Deleted the other one. To not get confusing. Well. Yeah. Oh. Next week oh. on ZPH Live, manual text <laughs> revisions. <laughs> it did go blue for a second, but then it came back. So. Then we can pretend like it never happened. Yep. Let's... We'll just erase that part of the stream. So die. Drum roll. Lies. Lies and more lies. What's going on? That's super weird. You sure you put the right one on? 7.02 p.m.? Yep. Hmm. And I did. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no, I didn't. No. <laughs> Wrong there we go. One. Wrong one. Freaking out. Freaking John. Out. John. <laughs> Like what? Yeah. That's impossible. <laughs> I did all the right incantations. It's like it's like the first question you asked. So did you uh, turn it off and back on again? That's right. No. I, yes, I, I did. No, you didn't. I downloaded, <laughs> no, I downloaded didn't. the exact same one. That was the problem. Uh, 
because I saw the email come in and then I just went back to the old one because they're very similar. <laughs> Control Alt Delete. Yeah. Uh, Did you reboot it? Did you turn it back off and back on again? Uh, oh. Boot in safe mode, yeah. Yeah, boot in safe mode. <laughs> Disable all your drivers. Reinstall your uh, network card. <laughs> yep. Your network card? Yeah. For connection issues. <laughs> you reinstall your network card? Load it! Load it! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to uninstall your network card drivers and then reinstall oh, okay. them. And that's sometimes how it works. The drivers. I was picturing like physical hardware. You might want to remove the Atari Vox and reboot. Yeah. yeah. We, we've seen the Atari Vox what? stuff. So Let's just try it. Let's just try it, though. Yep. We'll make sure first while I'm unraveling this. And drum roll for real. Yay! Yay! It was between the waves, I think. It was... Oh, Amazing. Thank you. Blue screen. Download more RAM. More RAM. <laughs> I need more RAM. Blow on the ROM. I love, I love all these... Uh, these um, I mean, IT it does, suggestions. It does only have 128 bytes of RAM. So, more with the uh, Harmony Encore. Okay, now it should show two joysticks plugged in. Ooh, gamepad. Gamepad and joystick. Nice. I get an extra button. <laughs> <laughs> but there's only one thing to do in this game. Yeah. Okay, so. Gamepad. Nice. Okay. So I'm orange. And are, you're you pink. are you one? No. Where am I? Disappeared. Where am I? Is it is it simultaneous or are we doing it in my turn, your turn? Kind of oh, maybe. Do you want me to die or? No. Uh, there, there you go. go. Oh, pink and orange oh, or yellow, cute. orangey yellow. Yeah, it was it was. Very nice. One person then two people. Okay. Okay, go. You selected two player, yeah. not co-op. Yeah, we got it. I died. We figure it out Help eventually. Me. Help me! Help ah. me! Ah! Don't die though. I, I know. I don't want to die. Gotcha. Yay! Yay! <sighs> Yay! The, the co-op is super fun. Button two will fire backwards. Ooh, cool! Button two. What? <sighs> Save me! Oh, I will. I'll come. Where it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm far away from you right now. Me. There you go. Usually, so, usually I get, I survive just to die immediately. So. Well, without two sticks, backfiring option is good. It. Oh, ran into it. Okay, don't uh, die. I'm okay. gonna. No, oh, there's so much on the screen. <laughs> there is. There is. I try. I try. I try. Oh. I hate these dudes. Dudes, get away from me. Help me. Help. <laughs> Help. I hate these robots. Help me. Ah, stop firing at me. Oh. <laughs> you didn't help me. I tried. <laughs> I tried to get there. It's not always easy. There we go. Oh. You're the pink and yellow rangers, Kimberly and Trinity. Yeah. Trinity? 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 I don't know the rangers. Ah. Oh. It is so full. You're, this is advanced, right? Uh, no. No, it's standard! <laughs> oh, where were you? I'm in the middle, flashing in the oh. middle. I need to use the backwards one. You have to, like, carve out a hole for yourself. If you don't right away... Oh my god, oh. yeah. are crazy 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 ah so i'm orange yes and i'm pink and is pink yes and i'm dead no tried to make it up there but those robots got in the way oh man grunts get in the way man there we go wonder twin powers activate yes <laughs> wonder twin that's more uh my era 
No, no! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I always have wave. trouble directing the fire. It's like I still with, haven't quite gotten the hang of it. I mean, with two joysticks it's easier, but... Too many. Oh it's man. Just, they're all coming in. I know. Wave nine, not terrible, not, not terrible. Not terrible on normal. Gotta yep. save your fallen comrades. Yeah, I agree. I didn't think I don't think I finished reading everything out. So Do you want me to play single player for a while? Yeah. Excellent. So here's the new sounds. Very cool. And then we'll go play two player again. Um, fixed a graphical glitch when horizontal missiles were on the far right or far left. Slightly shortened uh, the missile delays between shots. Updated the fire logic for co-op so both players have the equal number of shots. We'll have to look at that again. Cause, um, cause what was it last time? It was two shots per person. Um, the last build that we played, I think it was two shots per person. Like, that's Back a maximum. and forth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sounds are not now active in the intro and scoring screens. To do, add in a mute demo sounds option. Oh, so in the demo, it, when it loops around, you can hear all the sounds. Add it in a startup display and splash screen for type of joystick in each joystick port, game A or B. Gamepad, save key, quadtari, and joystick. Didn't list joystick here, but so there's four types that it'll uh, it'll say on the screen, which is cool. I wonder if you can put in the uh, save key in port A and a joystick in port B, and it'll still work. It's hmm. a question. Can you mix and match anything with anything, uh, John? Uh, Two-player alternating doesn't work yet. That's the errors we saw in the fixed version. The nines. Oh my lord. I like that you can push the grunts at an angle now. Very cool. The save key code is hard coded to only work in the right port. Okay. I mean, most people would not put it in the left port, and there's no reason to. Um, and most people leave it in the right port because everything is programmed for it being in the right port. There's no point in programming something to uh, go against convention of, you know, 50 games. Okay, so I am all up to date now. <laughs> Dead. Looks like you're... Oh, game over. Okay. Dead. No score. So, uh, should we do this on easy to get through some levels? Let's do it on easy. Novice? Yeah. Nutella mode. Nutella. Kids mode. Teddy bear mode. Just so we can show off all the waves. Because, I mean, that's... That's what we want to see. It's nice to show them off. Yeah. It is pretty awesome to see how hectic and crazy it gets, though. Uh, true. Help, help, save me, save me, save me. Don't die yourself. So, I'm trying to count the number of bullets we each have. Now. I do not know how Just... you would do that. <laughs> yeah, it's too hectic. A lot them. of bullets. So, we have one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. At least three, I counted. Oh, he got me just before. Oh, where are you? There, there. you are. Sorry, should have told you. That's okay. Nice. If one person doesn't fire the other port, fire. Oh, so you share the shots, but you can max out. Okay, help me in the middle. In the middle. Uh, Don't die. There's too much. <laughs> There's too many. Most of them are things, people we have to rescue too. Yeah. It just looks like it's crazier than it is. Yay! So if you're not firing, I can fire all four. But we have it on auto fire. Yeah, auto fire so. is so much easier. Yes. Knock back the dudes. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, so much less on the screen. In the tele mode. Whoa! Yeah. You must have just I guess cleared so. the last person because I was about to die. Oh. Where are you? I'm at the top. Top middle? Top top, top, top middle. Okay. Thank 
Kill. Yeah, the C64 was very annoying with its joystick port conventions. Some games would be port 2, some games would be port 1. And I only had one joystick for the longest time. Mm. So I had to constantly swap back and forth the joystick. I'm in the middle. Oh! Okay. Here we go. I had to constantly swap the joystick back and forth between the ports, and eventually it, it got loose. So I was looking at my joystick the other day because we're moving things. <sighs> dead! Help me! Oh no, you're I'm dead. dead! I thought it was you. Uh, I'm coming for you! Um. Ah, oh, zombie got me! I'm in the middle. Oh. It's broccoli heads. Yeah, <laughs> they have broccoli awesome. heads. Blue broccoli heads. Love the flashing colors in the Beautiful. Brains. Ugh. Ugh. It's so full. Good score, though. Well, it's not easy. Doesn't matter. <laughs> still good score. You still need to kill a lot of things. <laughs> yep. Kill all the things. Oh. All the grunts. Rescue the peoples. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, right hand middle. So fast. So fast. So fast. Oh. <laughs> Do Sorry. A, a bunch of extra lives, though. Yeah, which is good. Thank goodness. What about grunts? Yeah, they're just filling the screen up. Jesus. I'm just <laughs> yeah. Just you're watching this. It's oh, a lot. my goodness. It's a dead lot. so fast. Oh. Poor little TIA, working overtime in this game. I'm in the middle, very, very middle. You can rescue me. No, there's grunts all around you. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I just love the rescue option. Yes. So oh, cool. so good. Okay, pumping out those pixels. Oh. Oh, the same thing killed me, I think. Yeah. Zombie Timmies! Timmies? Zombie Timmies? Oh, what no. Is it? They're Timmies? Yeah. Yeah, Timmies. Ah! Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Oh. 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 oh, no, we're losing lives. Down to two. Mikey's! Mikey's! Mikey's? Ah, uh, Timmies. Mikey's. Mikey's, Timmies. I think we called them Timmies at first. <laughs> Where am I getting Timmy from? Timmy. It's a, it's a generic kid's name. I was gonna say the. Oh my god. South, South Park. Park. Yeah. Or um. Come on, robot. Oh, he's hiding yeah, behind all the here. green guys. All the grunts are in the way. Timmy is Daryl's climbing game. <laughs> oh yes. Help me. Thank you. Oh. What? Oh, because you were... I got you. I was you. still um, coming back to life. I wasn't fully alive yet, maybe. Because I was still I was still flashing and you died. I don't know what the rules are on that. Obviously, the rules right now are you died. Ah, I was, oh, like, cornered completely there. Died at the boat at the same time. They're all coming after me. Stop coming after me! Yeah, you were still a ghost. Okay, yeah, so you I hadn't fully quite... materialized. No. Whoa, things are crazy. Help me I'm up there. Thank you. Sometimes, some days. It, oh yeah. Oh, last life. Sometimes you're playing and it's just like I just I'm just avoiding. That's all I'm trying to do is trying not to die. Alive. Both <gasps> got killed by that red round red circle. Thing. Red circle. Down. Wave twenty, pretty good though. Good. Mm -hmm. Nope. I hope they know. Yeah, I'm orange. Tanya's pink. Yes. Oh, pink. See, it matches your score. Very nice. Do we both get that score? Yeah. Is this a combined score? No, it's a combined it's score. It's always a combined. On the co-op. What? Oh. So let's play. Yeah. Hard mode. How far, see how far we get. Kay. Which is not far. Wow. So, again, I'm orange. Tanya's pink. And they're very identifiable. So the updates. And their heads are different colors depending on the level you're on. Oh, so their heads are red. Oh, okay. So on this level, our heads are red. Red. It's always red. It's no, they're uh, for the 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 difficulty level. I think oh, they change. I think I remember okay. John 
mentioning that, oh, okay. that you can tell what difficulty level you're playing based on, on the head of the, the character. Ah, and that's really good for high scores, too. Like, so, oh, I got a big high score in, in advance. It's like, no, you didn't. You were playing, <gasps> you're playing novice, I can tell by yeah. the head yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's really smart to do. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Get out of here. Oh. Oh. Tanya is correct. <laughs> yes. Is that a general statement? <laughs> yes, it is. Or is it, it is. about something in specific? <laughs> Tanya is correct. Tanya is correct. <laughs> Covers everything. Oh my goodness. I got it. Oh my goodness, this is insane. How do you not die? Is... Oh, I died. Help me. You're right beside me. Help me. Help, 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 help. Oof. Sixth wave. Not too bad for advanced. Getting better. Just got a clear path. Oh, uh, help me. To the right. To the no, right. no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like running away. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh, there's so much on the screen here. Oh, I tried to shoot it. I'm the bottom right. Oh. I shouldn't even look for you. <laughs> Next zero page homebrew shirt, Tanya's correct. <laughs> yes. There you go. That doesn't have to be a zero page shirt. <laughs> Just a general being sold at anywhere yeah. in stores. I'd like my colleagues at work to have that shirt on all day long. <laughs> just Tanya's correct. No, no, you could you could wear it and then just point to the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Please I reference, like that idea, actually. Please reference the shirt. <laughs> reference the shirt. The guy's hiding behind the green guys again. <laughs> like, she who must be obeyed. Yes. yes. Uh, oh, this is oh insanity. My oh. oh, my goodness. Eighth wave. Eighth you didn't wave. do too bad no. for advanced. Because no. we made it to, like, ninth wave on 20th. normal. 20th. No, that was on easy. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah that's true. <sighs> she must be Great obeyed. updates. Yeah. Oh. Put in our score. Actually, it's not going to save it because we don't have the, the Tari box. Oh, that's true. When we get the quad Tari, yes. then we can save the high scores in yes. co-op single joystick each. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> excellent, excellent, excellent updates. Excellent, yes. Mm -hmm. um, very, very fun, as per usual. Um, great little tweaks and updates. Like, no major overhaul, but um, really, really good little tweaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much, John, for sending that in. Um, didn't find any bugs this time, except on boot, but that's something he knew right about already. I keep hearing about this quad tari. Yeah. <laughs> so what uh, what the quad tari is, is a device you can plug into one of the joystick ports that allows two joysticks to plug into that one port. So in essence, when you get I think it's one. Actually, I think it's, one, actually, I think it's one box, and you plug four joysticks into the back of it, and it has two ports going to the two ports of the Atari. So you can plug four joysticks, mm -hmm. hence the Quad Atari. Um, but you can also just use it for one port, and have two joysticks go, going into it, and have the Atari Vox in the second port. So that means two people can play, plus saving your high scores or voices things like that. Or, as John Champo pointed out to me recently, you can have four driving controllers mm. as well. So imagine the game we played last time, Indy 500. Yeah, with four cars. With four cars. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And mm -hmm. John Champo might be working on that. Oh. <laughs> or might be working or on... Or four trackballs. Oh. Really? Mm. Four trackballs. Oh, wow. So there's a lot of possibility mm -hmm. for those people who have four trackballs. <laughs> I have two. So that's something. So we can play two player. Yeah. Mar Marble Madness, four players oh, rolling I hate around. Marble Madness. That oh, is... my God. That would be so good. Like, <laughs> not not so... actual Marble Madness, but like a marble game yeah 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 yeah. where it's a maze and there's pits that open up and walls well, that you bump into it and would, you can bump it would each other into the pits oh my god a, v a vertical oh god. scrolling game where you're just no paddles don't work it's it doesn't do anything with paddles yeah unfortunately <laughs> yeah 
Uh, a four-player race where it, it's just continually scrolling and can you have eight paddles no it does it's not a splitter it's not a magical splitter unfortunately mm. yeah um cool does it do um the track ball as a track ball or does it emulate joystick because i know it, the track ball would be a joystick mm. in 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 joystick emulation um you can have up to eight paddles really Really? Wow, <laughs> that's really? crazy. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> but it only supports the buttons. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. But that's... that is something Ooh. you can have a trivia game with eight players. People buzz in. Yeah, but then. Or how would you a, uh... a a single button game? Imagine like Ninja. What is it? Wall jump Ninja with eight players or something like that and they're each jumping ahead that'd be that would be crazy or, or anything with one like one button uh endless I, runners i think wall jump ninja would be pretty fun but uh two player wall jump yeah. ninja that's awesome oh my god <laughs> eight player one button games <laughs> but just imagine the wow. screen diver, um divided vertically yeah eight sections yeah just like tiny pixel characters like you're ducking yeah. or jumping and they're just like two pixels or something it's it's like mario party mini games you could just have just a bunch of little eight little player mini games <laughs> so you have to find oh, seven amazing. other friends in order to take advantage of that yeah three joysticks and save key is cool too it eight is? player flappy <gasps> three joysticks and save key oh my god that's awesome eight player flappy yeah you could do flappy little tiny little tiny flappies Oh my god, that actually there's would so be really many possibilities. Cool. Yeah. That is pretty cool. Wow. I, and if you take a lesson from Robotron 2080... <laughs> James's basement's going to get really crowded. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you take a lesson from Robotron 2084, where he uses the play field as characters... Yeah. And you use a, a full like play field game, um, you could have eight players going all over the, the screen. Um, to an extent. Yeah, mm. that's awesome. Get a new couch. <laughs> have to get a U-shaped couch yeah. in here. And... We can't barely fit four people in here. I can't imagine eight, but uh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, no, not going to happen. Yeah. Anyway, that's a lot of exciting things that are possible, and I didn't even know that were possible. Um, that's incredible. So mm. eight paddles, four driving controllers, three joysticks and a save key, or four joysticks, Four roll, uh, track balls, or three track balls and a and a save key. Wow. Um, yeah, or eight paddle buttons and That's a partridge so cool. in a pear tree. Yeah. Well, James and Tanya are going through construction soon. Yeah. <laughs> we'll expand their studio for eight games. Yeah, we're just punched through imagine. that wall. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That that's would true. be cool. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. We don't use just that. Just punch through that wall. We don't use that. Yeah, I'm sure the strata might have something to say about strata that. Strata may not like that part. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go on stop to... Stop putting ideas in his head. <laughs> <laughs> on to our third game of okay. the night. Can I grab a drink? I'm going to grab some wine. If yes. you're setting stuff up, I'll be right back. I'll be setting it up for too long. You guys are inviting us over. We'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> Once the Quattari comes out, we might have to. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to be moving on to our third game of the night, Spire of the Ancients. This is a an update. We have played it before last time we played it, May 31st, 2020. This build is pretty new, August 23rd, 2020, so five days ago. Um, and this is by Smitty B, who is in the chat still, hopefully. Um, it's a 144k game. It's like a underground adventure RPG action adventure game. Uh, other games made by Smitty B, Plum Luck, Spire of the Ancients, and Vox a lot. You can download this in the Atari Age forums. We're going to be playing it through uh, a JS7800, which is an unbelievable emulator. Uh, so let me get that going on the screen get that set up uh, okay screen capture perfect uh nope stella that's what i want so let's go 
filters. Turn on the 7800. Boom. Game number three. Excellent. Smitty B says, yo, he's still in here. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so there is, uh, I do use, it does use the select button, which is off the screen, but you can see where I hover over it and it says select. So let's reset the game. Does that do it? Restart. There we go. Save device detected. Spire. really quiet we can't hear it was there no sound the last time we played i thought there was a music at the beginning i don't remember the main music but that's okay oh that's hmm best viewed on what best viewed with the cool color scheme oh the cool can i set this to cool there's the screen. settings on the right there. There we go. Uh, display. Palette. Cool. Cool, cool light or cool dark? <laughs> uh, let's go light. Did that change it? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look that different. Um, Dungeon Master Palette. Once it gets larger than 144K, I won't be able to load it on my Mateos multi-cart. Mm. Nice cart. Art ripped from the game. Mm. Uh, yes. Yes, I ripped it from the game, right from this screen, in fact, right mm. there. Um, I just, what did I do? Um, no, I just, uh, yeah. Pulled and you, you. Just from that right hand corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, and then I put, I repositioned the name mm. so it's vertical rather than horizontal. Mm. I put in some work. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Well, now it looks cool. Yeah. The green looks le less. Yeah. So this uh, was first posted August 29th, 2016. So as of tomorrow, he's been working on this game publicly mm. for two years. Oh, cool. Um, so we, there's been th three builds. So, and we have, I made up a map from the map he posted. Very nice. And I superimposed the key. There you can, I'll make it bigger. There we go. Um, from the map he posted, it took out the black background because I'm not wasting my ink. <laughs> and then did a slight outline on all the white and yeah. then did a shadow. Okay. So it's uh, visible. You and can then see I it. Yeah. superimposed the key Very nice. on it. Um, and it has a start. So there we go. Oh. Some things have changed from the map, but it should be, should be a good enough guide. Okay, okay good. That's, that's kind of what I assume because this is from like June, this map. So you should be able to press start. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, you pursue the hooded... Have you played this game? Yes. Okay, so everybody who has not seen it, you can read this later or pause it later. Anyway, because we've shown it on the show. We've read it. Unless it's changed, but I don't think it has. Okay. Oh, nobody can see it. You weren't supposed to see it anyway. <laughs> so you're beneath the trap door. Hit points, 10. Strength, 5. Arm, 0. Magic point zero, uh, Falk <laughs> zero, <laughs> field of cluelessness zero, uh, uh, lock picking zero, luck, luck, I think, not lock. Um, so you've got a left and right hand which you can hold things in, and you can um, focus screen. Thank you. Um, and you've got a compass, and with the select button you filter through what you're holding. Um, with the select button. I have the select. I mean, I'm sure it maps to something. Try it. Actually, we can't. won't be able to tell. Paused. No. Paused. No, so that's Focus, left hand, right similar hand. Similar to agility. Focus. Oh, okay. Focus. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, similar to agility. Yeah. So pretty much this hallway is just to get you used to moving, and it goes okay. right to the end. You can put out, you can turn on or off the torches by smacking them with your hand. Oh, like this? Poof. Poof. Then there's a torch at the end you got to turn on, and that puts you into a pit. You don't seem to have the sound on. Yeah, I know. So let's fix that first. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just take it away for a second. I'm going to reload it because I think it might have been to do with something else.
There, there we, we go. go. That's Sound is essential unusual. for games. Yeah. Okay. Much better. Oh, rest in peace, headphone users. There we go. <laughs> That's much better. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I thought it had sound and music. Mm. Health, strength, armor, Yay. magic, focus, luck. Ah, uh, okay. Magic. We got the magic, armor, strength, hit points, focus. You we said lock. Get... I said luck. luck. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was lock. <laughs> Just press a button, I think. People want to read it. Sure. Beneath the trapdoor. That's better. Um, so on June 5th, there's a new build. Uh, still a lot to do and a lot to fix. I think the maps that are out there are, uh, are fun to play and will be better when it's all polished and the problems worked out. A lot of areas are unfinished. I wanted to post a new build this weekend and I expect I won't be able to work on this as much as at the past couple of weeks. What's there is completable by finding a way that will be to the next area. Okay. I don't know if you want the map or you just wander right, around. This is the start. Oh. Okay, I'm going to tell you how to fight the bad guys. Smack them, then back up. Smack them, then back up. Or move somewhere else and smack them. Smack them with your hand. Smack, 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 smack. Compass updates with the direction of north, which is nice. Yes. That does help with um, navigating. Especially on this, too. Uh, with the map. Uh, something important that is in the hypothetical imaginary manual is that when your focus stat reaches 10 points, you gain a new ability. Love the love the graphics in this game are so good. Love those bubbles. Um, uh, selectable from your inventory. Uh, there will be eventually be a sound and or speech with the Atari Vox to signify if the new ability doesn't damage prop doesn't do damage properly yet, but it can be used in other ways. Mm -hmm. Major changes from the previous build are slightly weakened some, some enemies. Thank you. It was deadly. Everything killed uh, yeah, me. Yeah, I remember. Um... It was like death, 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 death death all over the place it was so hard to do you just had to run away and try and evade them so i have played this version and it's like it's very playable so you need to find a key first mm -hmm. um most don't have proper stats or weak anyway or their ai is otherwise broken adjusted the ground color on the title screen not to use colors in the e pound range uh, e fill in the blank range. Uh, increase the max minimum brightness of wall highlights to make it easier to see in dark areas. Yeah, it's very visible now. Increase the brightness of the particles when falling down a pit so they stand out more. Locked doors behave properly so unlocking them and walking through them takes two steps. That's cool. Uh, fixed a bug where the password didn't save properly if a save key or high score. Oh, did you encounter a baddie? No, no. key. Oh, okay, good. And then find your way back to the door. Um lost now it's a it's pretty good maze that would be a trigger i didn't fall through after that so now i go that. select with the key then you can use it or walk through it oh there you go did you walk through it yeah okay um Fixed a password verification and not allow an all zeros password, which would kill the player and boot them back to the title screen immediately anyway. Uh, color signal is now disabled for the HUD and text screens, which may improve how it's displayed on some TVs. I intend to add a toggle by holding, holding pause when starting 7800 for best results with as many TVs as possible. What? Oh, oh something was there. No. Those little pressure plates. Oh, did that hurt me? Oh, it's a fan. I, I was playing this a little bit. It's a fan that blows you back. Mm. So if you go around uh, to that pressure plate, you'll be able to step on it. You'll still be blown back. You'll still be blown, blown sideways, but you, you've now triggered it. So it opens up something. So now you can go back. Uh, oh, fixed cool. a bug causing objects objects in the old guard house interior map not to behave properly added a whole bunch of additional areas and simplified a couple of spots on existing maps added scrolls that can be read by walking up to them for clues and other background information now i'm confused i feel like i've been going around around in the same area for a while now I'm very confused. yeah 
so I have no idea where you are. Hmm. Just follow a wall until you... Oh, that's the way you got in, I think. You're back in your old area. Nope. Yeah. Or are you? Yeah. Oh, that's a pit. So you want to go down that. Yeah, that's been opened. Yeah. Okay. That's what the, the pressure plate did. Yeah. The problem I have is that I have a really good sense of direction, so I can't tell well, if areas are too confusing for others or not. I'm really relying on others to tell me where they get stuck at. I don't I am, think it's too bad. Yeah, I'm not good not with maps. Yes. Because I, I mean, I'm mean not good with memorizing. So that's I'm why I need maps. Not as good as I once was. <laughs> <laughs> My brain doesn't work quite as well as it used to. Um, but... Uh, okay. And, and run and move. Run. Ah! No! And then hit him and move. Move. I would find a place where you can go back and forth. There, that's in the long hallway. Nope. I don't that's... know. I don't know how to... Move. There's like two of them, though. There is. Now move. No, don't hit twice. Just hit once and move. There, he killed one of them. When he opens his mouth, he's attacking, and then it's too late. I know. So wait for him to come to you, then hit him and move. You're almost dead. Well, I can't get away from him, so it's all fine and good for you to say that. <laughs> no, hit him twice. I got him, though. Now you I have did. two hit points left. <laughs> It and does now regenerate. I'm really lost. <laughs> it does regenerate very slowly. Uh, here's where I fell in. Okay. Yeah. What you do? Sit in the hallway. I know. Wait but for them it's... to come to you. Smack them, then move. Yeah, but smack but them, you hit move. you hit you hit a wall eventually anyway. Well, then you move forward. Then you just keep. Going yeah, but then you have to forward. turn around to hit him. Or nope. you just wait no, for him to no jump in around. front of you. Just yeah. wait for him to jump in front of you. Yeah, okay. With, see, with... that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to turn around. Uh, you should have said that. <laughs> well, I didn't. Because I would have just moved and then hit him rather than trying to turn Hershey's around. Hershey's Kisses. It yes. Is. Green Hershey's Kisses. Do not eat the... Are they, were they blue or were they green? Oh, jeez. There's a bad guy behind both of those doors. Yep. So I have no idea where you are. There's like a bunch of baddies behind uh, gates here. Because I've been reading. I'll continue to read because I still have no idea where you are. Um, before starting on the next maps, I wanted to double check that everything lined up and I wasn't going to have things overlapping. I drew a map from what the player would see because I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't just copy the map data as several of the maps take advantage of wrapping from one side to the other to fit more in and others have overlapping. How many of these things are there? Uh, probably two. There, you killed one of them. Move. There you go. And then move. There you go. I think you're turning and not moving. No, I have to turn. No, you're in a hallway. Move back and forth. Yeah, but back then I don't forth. know where I'm going. I could just be hitting a wall. Kill what it. Is this? Oh. Bear. oh my god. Four hit points. Yeah, but you mean just... I can't. I can't move forward and back. I have to be facing the direction to move. I don't know what you're talking about. You, if you turn sideways, forward, you don't move. Forward, back. Forward, back. Yeah, forward, but... Forward, back. Like so you, you you want me to just go back and forth? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because then they move to you. Because I'm trying to run away from them. They hit them. Hit them. Move away. Move hit back. Them. You just go back and forth. Back and forth. Because in this... I know it's confusing, but in this game... There, if, hit it. If they're behind you, they can't hit you. Oh, okay. I think that's the miscommunication. Well, that's, that's, that's what you didn't explain. Because I'm thinking I have to face him or he's going to continually hit me. Yeah, they're very stupid enemies. <laughs> they have to look at you in the eyes to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes it a lot easier. Yeah. I wonder how difficult the ad transitions when moving instead of immediately snapping to the new location, similar to Double Dragon, Double Dragon on uh, Turbo Graphics. Oh. Hit move. There you go. Oh, they're still hitting you. Waiting. You're waiting a while before you're hitting the button. When well, they, he has to move to, to me. He has yeah. to move to me. He's not hitting. He's hitting me anyway. Double dungeon, not dragon. I was like, double, double dragon was put on the turbo graphics. Um, I see that you can move only in four directions, but I can see paths not in the center being displayed diagonally. At least it feels like that. 
Oh, let's get that key. Mm -hmm. Oh, did it automatically get it? So I don't know. Hit that pressure plant. I, I, I took the key. There we go. New area. Okay. Oh, the spinning circle is a save point. Oh, <laughs> you were attacking it? No, I was like, I don't know what to do with this. That is good to know. Where was that save point? It wasn't far from where it was. There. Ah. There we go. Thank you. Good to know. Best stand in it. <laughs> you best stand in it. Oh, there's the key again. Uh, the keys regenerate. Because it doesn't... I think he, the logic was he, he doesn't want oh, to... Uh, yeah, just select. You to lose it. Okay. Uh, it's not the right... Oh, there you go. Did you open it? No, I, I'm not going through it yet. I haven't even seen this level. Oh. Um. Oh, it's the same one. I guess that's it. I have no idea where I am, so it's okay. Neither do I. So it looks like there's three doors on this? Yeah, there are three. So one goes nowhere, one goes nowhere, and one goes to the actual thing. And the one on the right oh. is the one that goes to the actual place. Oh no, did I pick the wrong one? I think that's where the keys regenerate, right? Maybe. So that's the middle. That's, that's not the that one That was want. the entrance. So... You want to go to the one on the right. Let's see if I open the right one. I don't think I did. This is the one you want to go through. Oh, no, I didn't. So I have to go back through the door. Ah, to regenerate yeah, the key. Yeah, because the key regenerated uh, when I went back to the save point. There we go. There we go. Get so it's the key. one on the right. Now I know where you are, which is good. Yeah. Now I we're moving on to the green to area. Mm -hmm. Okay. The rooms you unlock oh, also have extra keys okay. in them. You just push forward. Yep. Okay. Are there baddies in those rooms? Was is it worth going into those rooms? Do you know what's in them? I don't know what's in them. I know there are some. Are there treasures? Uh, there should be audio. Can you hear us? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's too quiet. I'll turn it up a bit. Uh, maybe if you add a top-down map showing where we are mm -hmm. actually been seen, switch the map to wherever you know. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> um, I wonder if I could do that. What? Um, yeah, you can't easily scroll in so, OBS. Here's so here's an up. Oh, I went up. You went up the ladder? Yep, up okay. the ladder. Cool. Um, let's see. Pit or ladder is blue, so I know where you are. I think. No, I don't. Pit trap. I consider adding a map, but can't make it work now as, as I've got no room for the graphics. Oh, he's talking about in the game. <laughs> I thought he wanted to see it here. There, there's the map. <laughs> Yeah, in the game, that would help a lot. Dark, uh, forward. Yeah, now you got it. Still hitting you, though. Well, I, I can't. Okay. There you go. Oh, I get it. You, it is timed. I thought it was almost like a... It's not turn-based. Turn-based. There. there we go. See, things you need to tell me before I start playing. Ah, uh, it's hard to... Just tell me. No. Because I thought it was turn-based. I thought it was hit and then go. Oh, no. I'm thinking this back to old, time. old games that I used to play where it's this like... This is real time. Is that where it came? Yeah, that's where... So now we're going up again. Yeah. I think you fell in that pit, right? No. No? I went up. Okay. I went up and now I'm going up again. I believe. Now with audio. Yay! That's awesome. Andrew Davies lives in the future. He's, uh, yeah. He's in Australia. <laughs> so he's uh, he's in, he is experiencing the weekend. Is he? Oh, Lucky man. 
Well, Friday's pretty good, too. Because you're already kind of in the weekend already. Oh, he hits me every time. There we go. We'd like to see slightly different hue color for the ceiling floor. Oh, Maybe. yeah, that would yeah. be good. That would be really helpful, like a maybe a like one of them darker probably the ceiling or no because the the torches kind of point upward i would think the ceiling would be more lit and the floor would be darker so i've lost complete track of where you are so i'm going up and up and up up and up and up and up because i knew where you were As soon as you strike, move. I try to. You're gonna die. Oh, oh my goodness. Freaking me out. I, I, can, I don't seem to be able to dodge him very well. Maybe because I have no focus. <laughs> <laughs> no focus whatsoever. Action RPG similar to Ultima Underground, yes. And a lot of those 8 um, bit um, games where it was one move at a time. And up. Oh, this oh. is different, right? Yeah. This okay, is... good. You were progressing. Oh, yeah, no, no. I, I was going in one direction. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's no other options. Oh, I know where you are now. You're right there. Because there's a whole bunch of... So he, put, he put blue on a blue section, so it's hard to see. But you went what is it? up and up and up and up. So now you're in the purple area. Yeah, there's only one way for me to go, and that is up. This is about where you got last time. Yeah, because there's yeah, like a million, that. a million pits and ladders. Oh, that's different, right? Um, that's a higher level. It's, it's a, this is like the confusing maze part. Oh, this is different. What is that? That well, doesn't seem to be moving. Can you grab it? It's like a pull down thing. It's decoration. Mm. Are you just turning around? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to continue reading. Oh, we're outside. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we made it outside. Oh. White is outside, so we've made it to the white section now. Okay. Right there. Oh, it's like raining. That's really cool. That is cool. Um, yay, you're doing better than I did. Once again, it's been a while, so I figured I'd post this from Sunday. Can you select sword? Oh, did you get something? Yeah, I got a sword. Yay! You probably need it. So your sword's in your left hand. Sounds like a dragon. That's not good. Oh, it's lightning. It's lightning. And I love the delay. Very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Some people wouldn't put the delay in because they'd be like, oh, I guess it depends how close it is. If the lightning's right next to you, it's going to be it's going to be the sound is not going to have any delay that looks nice with the different floor sky color yeah here's the example of um of what it would look like with the differential um uh sky and floor i mean the, the floor is grass presumably <laughs> and this and the the ceiling is uh infinite sky yeah this would work underground yeah just like a, a slightly darker hue You think your sword degrades like in Zelda? Hope not. <laughs> Yay, only three hits. I have to go back and get the sword again. <laughs> yeah, he has a much slower reaction attack. time. The the the, the glittery thing. It's uh, very fast at hitting you. Yeah. Um in terms of what can be played, it's much the same as before, but it's more to explore. It's not possible to get stuck anywhere that I've found. There's an end screen for when you get far enough. I'm interested to see if anybody gets to the end and what problems they have along the way that I might be able to smooth over. Something I'll mention, because it's not as obvious as it should be yet, when your focus stat is 10, you'll get a fireball. How do you get stats? Don't know yet. Maybe we're not there yet. Um, you get a fireball. Ooh, magic. That's what you like. Um, that you'll need to use a few times to continue. That includes in the basement of the abandoned stores. 
other changes include enemies are generally weaker now, which is, I think they're about the right level. They probably could be such harder, but not much harder. But you got down to like three hit points. Two or three, yeah. I mean, I, I assume as long or as you don't go to zero, you're okay. Or regenerate slower, maybe. Um, health regenerates slowly. Okay, so it was going faster before. By default, the color burst is disabled for tech screens in the HUD. Holding reset on startup enables it for compatibility <gasps> with some TVs. What Ooh. is that? Elixir. Oh, luck. Two, three, Ooh. four. Your luck's going up. Excellent. Well, or did it go down? Nope. I had no luck before. Oh, well, it's up to five. So That's you find good. things now more? I saw a monster somewhere. Was no, I, there was a door behind a... Oh, there's one. Kill it. Kill it. I Kill swear it. I'm just going over the same area, but... Just regenerating. Regenerating slime. <laughs> regenerating slime. Oh, I found a key. Yeah. Oh, I finally got... Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. So, now, I guess I the question is, how do I get that door? Or I need to trigger something. Or get behind something. Or get behind. I'm kind of lost. I'm just kind of wandering right now. I can probably find you on the map because you're in the first white area. There's the door. Okay. So. Luck doesn't do much at the moment, but it's mainly critical hit chance. Oh, block. Half damage chance. Okay. Stats are gained via stat up potions. Oh, okay. So you'll get you'll find focus potions. potions, luck potions, things like that. Strength potions. Okay. Are there things hidden in walls or no? Because I haven't tried. Uh, doesn't say here. Like no. Sometimes I... you look for the cracked wall. Yeah, I thought I saw something in or, the forums. Or what is it? The the Nazi banner. <laughs> yeah. It, push on it. Um. And it opens up. This is very Wolfenstein. Yeah. Um, I thought I saw saw something about secret. It's like the only game I played on my uh. <laughs> Oh, save. That's well, new, isn't it? No, I, I did that already, but I'll do it again. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no destructible. destructible walls. Oh, and eventually they'll be marked. Okay, as per usual. As per gaming convention. Um, so there's a lot of dead ends here. Mm -hmm. Dead end, dead end, dead end, ends. I think That's that, the door, but I haven't figured I out how to open that. I think that door is... Oh, there's another door there. Oh, I see there too. Well. So there's a door that goes nowhere. Well, there might be something Didn't cool. Did you get a key? Hmm? You did get a key. I have a key. So you have to find that door. Hmm. That's not behind. Um, behind that. Hmm. So I don't know where you are right now. If Wandering you find. Wandering around in circles. Oh, what was that? Oh, I must have hit the button. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, stop there. Okay, stop there. Stop. So that's where I came up. Oh my god. Okay. I'm back good. where it came up. Um, blue pit ladder. Okay, so go to the left. Yep. Okay. And then go Around? down. Around? No. This now is I'm not. confused. No, that's not right. Go to the ladder again. You want me to go to the ladder again? Yeah, because I I was lost immediately. There's the save. Oh jeez. Is, does it show the save on there no. somewhere? It only shows um, pits and doors. We'd have to do a bigger map to put all the things and the keys and stuff. This is just a map. Not a cheat sheet. If we can find that ladder, we'll be good. Oh, oh. Want your key? Yes, please. There you go. Okay, can you give me my sword back? No. <laughs> What's this? Are you back and. I went through. Hmm. Is this the right one? Are you in the new area? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
So if you want to use the map, you best be careful. Oh. Well, but you kind of want to explore yeah. at the same time. But do you want to get lost? Oh, no, well, that's blocked. It doesn't show blockages, does no, it? No, it doesn't. So there's the door. So I'll keep. Can't this go to here the right. For you. Can't go to the left. So you have to go straight. Having stuff in the walls like torches really helps with the impression of movement. Ah, uh, yeah, it does. So the torches are really mm. good. Um, not many torches in here. I'll it go would, to the left. It helps with long hallways, and these aren't too long. So anything over, so as long as, These yeah, I would, I would put a torch. Oh, you definitely need to do that. I would put a torch in any hallway that's over like three and doesn't have something. <laughs> <laughs> teddy bear, the golden deadly teddy bear. People on the forum said the teddy bear is easy to kill, which it is, but it hurts you really bad. If oh, it hurts, if, if, if it, it hits, hits you. you. Ah, yeah. golden teddy bear. He looks like an owl to me, but. Looks like a golden teddy bear to me. But Andrew, I think you're totally right about the um, torches. Putting them in long hallways at, at least would help. But so far, this is not long enough. There, that was that would be a torch on the right would be good. So that's the door. But I should probably check out those areas. Yeah. To see if there's anything. Because if you miss like a weapon... Oh, I see. Oh, you have to go around different ways. Or open them up. With, Maybe. With little uh, triggers. Well, that... Oh, so you have to go back and through. I bet those... All the way back to the beginning. Mm. Interesting. I bet those dead ends down there open up triggers. Okay, so that's the door. <laughs> so, no, no, I know. I know exactly how this is set up, so yeah? that's fine. Okay. Yeah. It's Good. not that hard. Okay. It's like a square. Yeah, you have to go around like this. And then there's things off to the side. Oh. Ooh, that's an open thing. That's new. So that's on that side there. Going through that hallway. Interesting. I'm planning to have the permanent closed doors portcullies to be a different color as players don't walk around wondering if something can't be opened. That would be very helpful. Interesting. He's blocked. Well, it's good for the moment. Hmm. But he'll escape at some point. I am assuming... I bet this is this area is like tr you have to open, try and open everything. So now it's forcing me down that hallway. Oh, there's the key. Ah! Oh What's hitting me? Oh, somebody's shooting at you. There. Quick. He's going to kill you. Maybe run. We have one hit point left. Ah! Oh. Interesting. Where was the last save point? Uh, it was on... Um, the outside area? Outside, I think. You want to play? No. <laughs> You've already got a good handle on you it. You can hold the button to keep attacking. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Continue. Yeah, yeah don't. You should automatically put it on continue. <laughs> don't put it on start. Oh. You have to hit enter, maybe? Select? Maybe. Nope. What? How do you actually input it? I go to the... Only one button works on the screen. Try the other button. There we go. One of 103? Wow. <laughs> Yay! Okay. okay. Yeah, the right button works on that screen only. That's why it was confusing. Mm. So you have to find... Do you remember? Oh! He's back. I don't have my... Oh. Well, I'll let you defeat this guy. He's not too hard. But well, I'm... no, he's not too hard when you have the... There. There we go. I didn't know if it would interfere. Is this one or two? Yeah, yeah two. it's a sword. Yeah. Two. <clears throat> oh, is that... Uh... Oh, you did do that. Okay. Okay. 
Torches really work here, yeah. Even though it's outside. It's like dusk, it's rainy dusk. It's a very dark blue sky. Hits. Four, I think. Uh -huh. Four hits. Um, okay, other changes. Uh, potentially, probably, hopefully fix the rare crash that Kevin MOS3 reported May 31st. Added a stats screen that's shown when you continue a game, which we just saw. Uh, showing your time and the number of unique items, abilities you've collected. Added some speech for the Atari Vox, which mm. unfortunately we can't in enjoy. Because we'd have to have an Atari 7800, uh, a multi-cart, SD-based cart, which we don't have either. Well, we have a 7800, but not an SD cart. Oh. Um, my luck went up even Actually, higher. that's the only thing we need. It oh, kept good. my luck stats and then increased Gave them another to 10. One? Yeah. Oh, maybe you found something. Is that a bug? Oh. Maybe. So you should die. Keep coming back dying keep coming back and get locked to 99 wrap it around chains rings some sort of visual Ooh, yes mm. some chains on the wall that would be good mm. there you go yeah if you don't want to light up the um and it takes away the key yeah and you want your sword back you. nah okay can you play for a bit i just Oh, boy. Give me a quick second. Oh, I don't know how to play. <laughs> yes, you do. Mom. Okay, so we're going from the outside uh, to there. And so we'll go in the outer ring, which I can't go that way or that way. So we have to go the cheaty way through there. Can't go that way. Uh, okay. We'll go around. And this should be the outer edge of this area on the bottom. So I'm going to check some things here. Because I don't know if she... There we go. Triggered that plate. Actually, it shows an area past here, but it doesn't exist. Okay. We're going to check all these little offshoots here. Check this offshoot. Oh my god, teddy bear. <laughs> Uh, so this one goes down in here, nothing, and this goes back to the main loop. There we go. And then there's one more little section in here has been changed from the main map. Okay, good. So we've done the whole bottom. Now we're going to do the top length one, which I can't go there. It's locked up. Hmm. How do I get to that part then? I'm gonna have to go back around, see if there's a way to do the top loop without, and then we have to go around that gate. Is there anything in that gate? In here? Oh no, okay, that's fine. Oh, and then it opened the top. There, that was the, what the pressure plate did. Okay, now we're on the top. Explore that area, which I can't. And I can't get there yet. Do you encounter the dude? Can't get there yet. Can't oh. one teddy bear. No, don't move it. Don't change it. I'm, not I'm changing confused it. now. Oh, I know exactly how to do the maze. Can't go there. And I can go there. There's your key. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you definitely. Oh my god. Yeah. He's uh, rather tough, but he is very oh, slow. You got him. Yeah, you very just have slow. to hold. It's better to just do that, I think. Yeah. And another pressure plate. Excellent. Okay. So now we'll go back to the main loop. See, I see loop. pressure plates, and I assume it's going to electrocute you, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> or spikes will come down? Yeah. Okay, still can't go there. Dismantle. <laughs> still or disarm. can't go there. Disarm the, pr the, the pressure plate, but... And this... What's this? Mm -mm. You have to use your hand. Use the other button. There you go. I'm a little lost now. Uh, oh, they've all been opened. I'm a little lost. I need to get back to... Well, you need to find your way back to the door. Yeah. So, 
I think this is one of the main paths. It's the top or the bottom path. Oh, they're pretty straight. The door. No. So that. Oh. Oh, you can release the golden uh, teddy bear. Oh, I know where this is. Yeah. Now. I'm gonna go around here. Yeah, you have to go up and, and then this around. This is the door. There you go. Okay, now I know where I am. Okay. Okay, you went through? Uh, no. So I'm gonna go to the top corner and do the top again. So. Okay. Let's see if this is the top rest. right corner. So you're up here? No, top right. Over where here. are you? The red. On that corner? So yes. that is that is the entrance. I know. Okay. I'm doing the top because okay. because everything was closed. There was gates everywhere along the top. That's open. That's that's new. He's very easy, but very scary. Ah, yeah. I want to light up. Nothing, but there was something to do. Now, uh, I don't know if that's new. This is definitely a game when you're playing it, you have a better sense of what oh direction God, you're going yes. in. When you're watching, like sometimes you can't even tell if you're going right or left. Oh, get the teddy bear. It's good to preemptively start swinging, actually, because yeah. it's a very fast swing. The best way to attack the cultists is just to rush them. They'll move into, into their range to attack you, but you, you won't, but won't move out of yours. Yeah. So once you, once you've rushed them. That's what I've found. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go explore up here. This is the northwest corner. I was at full hit points, thankfully. Oh, there's a potion behind him. I will be getting that potion. Yeah, so yeah. he only takes about four hit points if yeah. you start attacking him. So what? Oh, my strength's going up. Woo! Yay! Okay. So that is the top left corner and this i don't know if i completed this so i'm just going to check in here another pressure plate i don't know if i've done that one you might have okay so the whole top is done i've been in everywhere okay so i'm going to go back and do the bottom again the bottom when you mean bottom you mean the south wall <laughs> okay the whole long south wall okay So this, now I'm in the southeast corner. Mm. Now I'm going along the wall. And I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't because it's hard to remember that because there's so many gates. And, and these are kind of H, H's that yes. come back. Yeah. Now I'm going down to look at this last H. Mm -hmm. The map is slightly different than... Yeah, it is slightly, yeah. And that's it. And mm -hmm. now there's, I can get to the next part. Get a key. No, you just go through. Ah. Yeah. And we're outside again. Yep. And then you want your sword back. So we're about halfway through the game. <laughs> <laughs> halfway through the map. I don't halfway know if the through. game... Hey, Metal Lunar, welcome. Hello. Uh... Not even halfway. The area below the compass is reserved for status effects at the moment. I don't think I could add that. Um, but you could flip flip the screen to a mini map. Hmm. Okay. So. Get your sword back. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You do not want to not have your sword. That is blocked. Left is blocked. They're all blocked. So those gray, I assume, blocked are all door. blocked. Do you see? Yeah. I think those grays mean they're all blocked. Yeah. So I'm gonna just travel all the way down. This so area. there's a door. Blocked. Yeah, well, you can look. Blocked. It's hard for me to follow along. So. Blocked. Okay, it's all blocked. So I'm gonna go north, up that passage. Yeah, and then it'll, you'll, it'll be blocked straight ahead and blocked to the left, but then you can go around to the right, around the blocked yeah, door. It's blocked. Yeah. And blocked. And go down. So you can go down. You can go down, but to the two. But they're sections. blocked, so. So they might try to kill you. Or nope. there might be something there. Nope. And then if you go back. back. Yeah. And right. Go. And then left. Yeah. Left. Yeah. So there, now you can go around and get behind those those two gates. Oh. Right. So you're going in here. Yes. Yeah. 
Uh, I want to first explore that dead end, which is nothing. Now I'm going to go south way. Yeah. Without this map, I we be this be torture. Well, I don't think so, because you just kind of you. I would you, be making you mow, this map, That's but you mull your way through it. You know, like yeah. it's only when you get stuck that you really need a map. Like usually, usually you can kind of poke around until you find what you need to, and it just takes a lot longer. But I would yeah. be making this map, so having this map available is very good. <laughs> And there's supposed to be a gate to the left here. Yep. But if now I... you can get back behind um, those gates there if you turn left. Left? Okay. If you turn left, you get back I should behind. Check it out. Yeah. There, so so yeah, there you gate, go. Gate, gate, nothing yeah. there. Not a lot. Not, not very populated areas. Oh my god. Okay, no. but we haven't been here. So then you go straight up, and then there's another gate. So no, that's where I was just looking. That's oh, that there. Gate. And then I'm you can to go the right. to, the, to the right, and then that gets you into a completely new area. Something tells me I have to go all the way back. No, I don't think gates. so. I don't think you can. No, they no. don't go up. I don't, I don't think, think they do. Okay. There's a door that goes. Nowhere. This is just a mazy, mazy yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So to the right, there's a gate. Left. This is just a maze, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, this makes sense. Not everything opens, right? Like. No. There should be a gate at the end. Oh, save point. Save point. So where are you now? Are you here? I am looking at that gate at okay, the moment. Okay, so you want to loop around to get to there. Loop around to get to there. So if you can... You go right, and then take your first left. I bet you anything you're going to find. Creature guarding it. Um, and then left again. Where you went. I'm over here. Yeah. You went... Right, and then you took the first le left, so you want to hit the first left after you've turned left. Okay. Uh, and then through here, and then, and then down, the and there it is. Okay. Good. And then you can look at the rest of it if you want. I think there's a gate here, but you probably have to get behind that gate. Right? So you're, you're going to have to go back and around. Oh, okay. You have to go all the way around to get behind that gate. This is very exciting, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> riveting, riveting stuff. Two hours of map navigation on Zero Page Homebrew. How it looks amazing, though. And I love this rain, snow thing. We'll call it sleet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are, are, you, are you behind this gate now? That gate? No, don't, don't put your finger over it. This gate, there. I'm lost. Are you behind that gate? No, I'm not. I don't think that's the gate. If you go right, is it open? Go right? Right? No. So you... I'm like going down here right now. I don't know where the heck you are. Neither am I. I don't know. You got lost. Oh. So I'm facing south. Yeah, I'm like here. And there's like an unexpected gate that is not on the map. Oh. Oh god. You got yourself lost. I did. There's a pressure pressure plate. Well, that's good. Maybe that opened the gate gate you needed open. Oh yeah, the gate is not on the map. So There we go. Okay. I am um... Yeah, Going... nice touch rain direction. It's too slow for rain, too fast for slow. Sleet. <laughs> Sleet. <laughs> This should get me to the exit. Yeah. This, this is like the last part of the maze where it's no um, alternative directions. There should be a gate this way. Yep. And this That's way should be out. the exit. Yeah. Abandoned stores. It nice. just changed. Mm. So you're now in this part here. Now I'm heading north up here. What's the blue? Pit ladder. Oh. So now red looking... is interior, white is exterior. So you're on the white, and then the red must be underneath it. Yep. Mm. So that, I'm looking right at that orange there. That's a gate? Yeah, it's a gate and then an orange that goes inside. That goes inside? No, there's a pit there that takes you down, I think. Oh, okay. So. But 
There's stuff above ground too, so I don't know. There's a bunch of pits. Collapsed old well. I think I have to go all the way around. Did you go here? No, but there shouldn't there. There's they're all. Gates. Oh, you can't get they're get to that. So you gates. have to go here. There's. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go south around that little bandy yeah. thing. And then You're straight to the to north. There. There's a lot of mazes going on here. Yeah, <laughs> there's your pit. So I should go in that pit. I guess and so. Then anything here? You might as well check it out. But... Oops. It's just a circular thing around the back, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, yeah, it just circles around. I'm sure this is very disorienting for people watching because they don't know which direction I'm pushing. Yeah. And it's just it's just a bunch of changes that are happening. Yeah. Put in a lot of those gated off dead ends to try and imply that the area was larger than it is. Well, it definitely works. Oh my god. It's yeah. It's dark and scary. No, it would be on the wall anyway. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing here. There is. To get up to there. Like that's that's a wall. Yeah. That's a hallway. That's a wall. That's a wall. I'm at a dead end. So if I go down that way. That. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. There's a different part of the maze. Yay! Something different. That's a gate. It's very dark. <laughs> I want some want some torches here, but at least I'm. At least the bubbles somewhere. glow. Yeah, that is a nice. Oh, this is a dead end. You can kind of see. <laughs> you can see sort of. Yeah, the compass is helpful for us watching to see if you were turning. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm royally screwed. Not really. Okay. Uh, if orient people yourself who watch, relative to the map. People who watch the show mm. know two things I hate in games. Dark, dark levels. Mazes and dark mazes, even worse. <laughs> and this is a dark maze. And I hate dark mazes. Mm. Oh my god. I mean, this isn't completely black. Okay. You've got to be going up and down that hall there. Right? There's another pit here. I think you must be going back and forth. I mean, the bubbles aren't on the on the things. No. So. That's right. Oh, there's liquids beside a laptop. Oh, there's a gate there. Uh, a mini-map or movement transitions instead of an instant snap to each location, like with Fantasy Star Double, uh, Double Dungeon. Yeah, that would be good. A lot of programming <laughs> to make an animation to move the whole screen. Because you'd have to animate every frame in between, unless you're doing rendering on the fly. I am so screwed. I am going to follow a wall which is a way to navigate mazes. I'm going to follow this wall. Oh, it's a ladder. I don't know if that's the ladder that I'm meant to go out of. Um, it's a ladder. I don't know if it's... Did I fall in a pit? Did I... Is that the pit I came... I went to? No, it's not. No, this is different. Okay, good. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's torturous. Okay, where... Okay, I think I know... So this should be a round thing going to another point. And then another round thing that kind of goes to the same point. Yeah, I know where I am. And then things that go off to the right and up and to the right. Yep. Hallelujah. Made it out of that. So following the wall actually worked. You're making progress. <laughs> Left hand on the wall. Yeah, you're just following following the wall. And that's what I did. And it, it got me out. Oh, 
something behind there. I need to throw a switch. So there's a pressure plate somewhere. Oh my god, this should be... So that is not mapped. So let's actually, let's just go back a second here. So that is a fork in the road, which should be marked there. Mark it down. We're almost to the end. We're getting close, but I probably have to open that up and backtrack a lot to get past that this to open it up anyway so there should be a dead end here which there is i need this to be like here like held up with tape can you when you come back can you oh there's tape here never mind oh oh remember this spot yeah exactly i i actually marked it on the uh on the map because i knew because there's a whole bunch of areas that I have not been to. I'm going to get some tape. Tape up this map in front of me. Because I'm getting sick of looking down. Okay. Up. Up. Come on. Over. Over. Uh, and then I am to that point. There's like two ways around here. Oh, I'm gonna go back because then along the top there's like a dead end that might contain something. I wouldn't want to miss it. Here's the dead end. Oops. Oh, I, I need to go back because I messed up. Figure out where I am. Okay. There. Okay. That goes up. Over. And this is a big loop. Not a lot of enemies in this area. It's just mazes. It's been a long time since we've seen an enemy. Should I go around this loop? I don't know. Let's go around the loop just to see. Okay. We'll go back up. What percent of this game is completed? Yeah, I think there's a distinct lack of enemies in this area. How's it going? Uh, fine. Yeah. It's a lot, just a lot of mazes. Yeah, you got on. it taped up. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because I was just safe. driving me crazy. Okay, I'm right there. Psst. Right there. Oh my goodness. Right there. But I have to backtrack eventually back to there. Why? And then back there, back there, and back into here. Oh, yeah. Because Smitty B said that I had to. <laughs> well, yeah, because uh, to backtrack through there. Yeah, because that's a gate that's not open oh. yet. So you have to open it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, now there's choices. I'm going to go there's towards... There's probably stuff you need to get in there. That yeah. makes sense. I mean, it's the store, right? Uh, are you going to backtrack or no? Well, eventually. Gotcha. Oh, just gates, gates everywhere, preventing <laughs> my, my progress. There's going to be another gate here. Oh. oh, it's open. Oh, it's open. There's a door. Okay, I think I'm going to explore just a little bit more in this area. Okay. That's a gate. That's goes down back where I kind of was. There should be another gate there. Uh, and this kind of goes down towards a deadish end mm. but i should probably look down there might as well there might be something to get okay kathy man td i'd be lost for eons i think yeah you need the map <laughs> you absolutely need the oh, map get it there you go oh the sword man you need the sword it makes a big difference it's gonna follow the right hand wall oh gates are open don't know about the baddies, but I play this just for the maze. <laughs> Somebody it's, likes mazes? Yeah. Oh, Someone this jumped is the, in. This is the game for you, my friend. And asked, what platform is this on? This is a 7800 game. Atari 7800. Made by Smitty B. Yes. Yeah, Atari 7800, who is in the chat. Yeah. You can ask. And it's all... a homebrew game. Homebrew, yes. Yes. 
Oh, oh there's a oh, there's a little I'm, green slime, toxic be, slime. Ooh. There's a pressure plate. What do you think? Is that going to open those two things? Probably. 100% chance. This is a trap. If I've ever seen a trap, there's probably two Go to forward. the side. Turn around. Yeah. Here they come. They're going to come. There oh. he is. Get him. Not even one hit. Nice. Yep, there's four. Yep. I knew it. All, Blobby! <laughs> all four blobbies came after me. Oh, more! Hello. Nice. Even more. He was hiding. <sighs> Tricky. Is there anything mm. in there? No. No. Just there. But you got the potion, which increased your strength by another five. Ooh, good. That's Very nice. A little help. <laughs> a lot. Anything there? No. Oh my god, mazes. I like linear games or like open world games. I like mazes. Mazes are I, the bane of my them. existence. They're the kind of game you just kind of settle in for a few hours and just force your way through. So okay. I don't mind maze games. Yeah? It's not as ex not a very dynamic game to watch <laughs> but when you're playing maze games. But No. But it's a lot... When I, you're I enjoy, in it, it makes them. a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of... Oh. Get the blobby. There's some. I bet there's something in here. Because this is probably a new open <gasps> gate. Another blobby. Sword and the strength help a lot. Blobs don't even open their mouths now. Okay, I know where I am now. Oh, hello, Mr. Blob. This goes up and around. There's nothing in there but blobs. Mm -hmm. Who wants to go in there? Future travelers, don't go in there. There's nothing but blobs. Mm-hmm. Okay. The graveyard's full of blobs. Uh, Is that uh, what happens to us when we die? <laughs> we just become... Kind of. Blobby. Yeah, turn into... Okay. None of these open. Supernatural ooze that attacks well, wandering passersby. Could be. I think I'd rather be a blue one than a green one. Okay. So, this is your door. Now, I could backtrack all the way back to that store. Yeah. Or go forward into the kind of last area. But Smitty has already told you you need to, so maybe you need to get stuff from there. Do you trust him? <laughs> but, well, I don't know if I can backtrack yet because this is open. Oh, I see. Yeah, maybe I need to do something more. Less like an arrow. Yeah, it yeah. It, it could be a, a longer thing rather than... Because it kind of looks like an arrow right now, doesn't it? I mean, it does do the slashing, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's an unlocked door. Um, I should probably go see, or maybe this is see like the final the encounter, and I need you something need from the stuff? stores. Yeah. But it's such a long way, Smitty. Please give me a hint. Should I go back now, or should I go forward? Excelsior. <laughs> Lop Lop Lopta. Onwards and upwards. Yeah. Well, that's one vote for going forward. Yeah. You could save again. I could save. Oh, I don't know where the save is. Uh, you shouldn't backtrack now. You should save and then go forward. Yeah. Oh, God. Where's yeah. the save? I think it was around here, wasn't it? It's not too far back. Captain Classic says go forward. Okay. Everyone's saying go forward, but you still need to save. Or is, it, is there a save on the other side? Sometimes they're on uh, the other side of doors. There oh. you go. What the hell? Yeah, good job. I just didn't turn the right way. Oh, you can't see it. Like, look. You can't see it there. You can't mm. see it there. You have to actually turn. Even though it looks mm. like it's intruding on you, it's actually in that spot. Yeah. Just, it needs to be smaller. Smaller? And further away. Mm. Right? Because now it looks like it's kind of in where you are, but you turn and you can't see it. Mm. Anyway. Just a 3D visual thing that might might want to take a look at. Make it a smaller Okay, circle. I saved. Oh. That's not the right way. I don't even know where you're going now. I know, it's so... Okay, here we are. We're at the door. We've saved. Sadly, a limit of the graphics, my engine. Oh, okay. Tennis balls equals save. The tennis... <laughs> Trust in the tennis balls. Okay, we're through the door. Now we're into this last... And there's a gate. ...part. You're going under? Yeah. It's just open. So it probably wasn't right. open before. Yeah. So it's blocked off to the right. Yeah, so we're going to go up to the left. And there's a kind of an interesting red 
lower in indoor area. Yeah. Oh, he opened his mouth. Uh, so. Door. Yeah, there's a door there, and there's a thing that goes all the way around the door. So I'm gonna go around first. Well, they're all doors. Are they all doors? No, oh, I don't know. This is a long hallway. Yeah, that I did. I forgot. I couldn't tell I was moving. So little rings on the walls, like here. You can't tell I'm moving forward, right? Oh yeah. So rings on the walls there would help, or torches, whatever. Yeah. Torches for now. Every second. He's got torches. Yeah. Yeah. Every second one yeah. or alternating. So we've gone all the way around. There's nothing. So we're gonna go in. This is a red area. It's an interior. That's kind of cool. So it's kind of a limited little area. We'll check out every little corner here. Oh, there's Ooh. a down. Oh, my God. Oh, it was a scroll. Our food must be brought up daily as from nearly the moment it arrives on this cliff top, it becomes inedible, enveloped in mold. Well, you know why. It's a little moldy things. I disposed of its. I disposed of some meat that had turned bad before it hit my plate, and the damn thing slimed along the ground, Ew. absorbing any scraps it touched and turning a pinkish hue. Mm. A ghastly miasma has befallen the yard, with the appearance of similar yellow creatures oozing from the ground. I can only assume they're of the same strange origin. After all, there's plenty of meat for them here. Mm. I daren't. Daren't. It's a good, good con conjugation. Daren't. Yeah. Uh, retrieve the key I dropped in one of the ma mausoleums. Mm. Mm. So you have to find your key. And... Well, those things are pouring from the graves. Mm. You were right. Mm. Was that in the original instructions? No. You just made that up and it actually is from tr came true? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Well, he used the term daren't. So. Ah, who's shooting me? Oh my god. What is that? No, something's shooting at you like one of those dudes. Ah. What is that? That's a scroll. Yeah. Oh, it does it every time. <laughs> so if you want to you read it You don't pick again. it up. Oh, is it a trap? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe that was a trap on the other side. No. It's a... Something's shooting at you. Is he this way? Oh, there he, there he is. You. Oh, I've got six hit points oh, left. Oh, slide. just get him. Is this going to go down to like two or one hit points? Oh, oh I have more strength now. I'm going to wait a bit. <laughs> Are there any gelatinous cubes? Yes. No cubes, yes. Jellies, yes. Smitty B, have you done much on the 5200? Not a lot of um, programming being done on the 5200. There's like one dude that's doing it all. What's his mm -hmm. name? Uh, he did the uh, f fighting force game where this the top and the bottom. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With fairies. The fairy magical yeah. fairy magical force. Magical fairy force, yeah. Ryan Whitmer. Yeah. Yes. And he did the rat game. He did the curling game. Mm. Um, so there's pretty much one guy that is covering fifty two hundred at the yeah. moment. <laughs> um, so you might want to talk to him. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going down the hallway. It's just a little internal area. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm a little lost. That's okay. But There's... it's really all dead ends in this little little area. So. Yeah, it is. Just a door in and out, I guess. Yeah. Did I? Oh, that's, that's new. down. That's down. And that's not mapped. No, so it must be underneath. Hmm. So we go down and we won't know anything. Oh. Hopefully it's okay. just a little area. You know, you can put them out. Yeah. <laughs> and turn them back on. Yeah. You can make everything dark if you took out all the... Oh, it's just a tiny little area. It's the same, same oh, layout? Oh, same layout, is it? maybe. Similar. Oh, no, this is bigger. Oh, no, what's going on? This is bigger, but it's fairly linear. This so. is the mausoleum, so maybe you have to get a key from in here somewhere? <gasps> Oh, you can move and shoot at the same time. So you can just keep hitting and moving back. Yeah. Ah, look at the skulls. What is that? Skulls? Reminds me of the catacombs in Paris. Hmm? Have you been there? No. I did. I oh, know. What is oh. that? Oh, armor. armor. So I should be able to... Oh, it ar armored me up one automatically. <coughs> oh, Don't have me. to select it. Excellent. Nice. It's very, uh, very crazy in the catacombs of Paris. It's the all the walls are lined with skulls, skulls. and bones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like thousands. Yeah. Thousands of dead people. <laughs> and 
and they're all arranged in like heart patterns mm. and like really cool patterns. Um, that sounds creepy. Yeah, I have video of it um, that I haven't uh, put together. <laughs> okay, now we just exit out of here. Very cool. Ah, slime out of the graveyard. Okay, so now let me get my bearings. Okay. We can go up. There should be a. Okay, that's not what I expected. Uh oh. I'm gonna go back to the door. <laughs> I think I'm lost. There we go. Okay, the map is not exactly right here. I'm gonna go the long way around. Yeah. There's lots of little. This is not right. Map is very incorrect. <laughs> this map is here. Oh my goodness. Well, this map you're is... gonna have to oh oh oh, oh. It disappeared. Ah when you go to the, the grave it's That's not there. That's cool. Okay. Nice. It turns into a beastie. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is kinda wandering through the graveyard. I bet there's something in the graveyard. Well you're supposed to find a key, right? Oh a mausoleum. Oh ah. beasties. The yellow. You're only hitting it when it when you see the blue come off of it. Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes you're swinging, but you're not actually oh. getting him. Okay. He sweats the sleet that's coming down from the sky. <laughs> same, same color. Mm -hmm. Sweat. I'm not making fun. I just think it's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is kind of one. an enclosed area, so that's good. I think I've looped around. Oh! <gasps> oh, he does. Like, splashes the rain yeah. off of his mm -hmm. slimy body. Custard blobby. <laughs> oh, I know where that goes. Yeah. That goes back down where I was. Because there was this... Uh, that was your up? Um, there wasn't a ladder there, but there was a pit. And I think it goes... I don't know. Should I go in there? Back where you were? Wouldn't be the worst thing. Yeah. Oh, nope, this is a different area. You got more armor. More armor. Or Ooh. it's the same area. No, nope. or you got it again. It's possible. This looks very, very samey. Maybe I should go oh, in the no. graveyard a hundred times. No, it looks a little different. You think? A uh, hundred times. <laughs> we'll find out when we... No, this looks the same. Then go up. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is. And this is... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, they're all back. I think it repopulates Maybe it every time you go in. So can you like cheese the game and just keep getting armor by following down, falling down? Oh, there's your scroll. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I think you're right. Back to the graveyard we go. Killer blamange. <laughs> blamange. Blamange. Oh. 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 Oh, he's Ooh, easy to kill now. Whew. Where's the door? Okay. How did I get to the graveyard? Is it here? Yeah, it was here. You just spin around circles. Here's the I graveyard. Oh! There you go. Yeah, there. So you get the easy. purple guy. They do seem to um, the repopulate. Pit, the pit was fairly nearby. Oh, I'm lost. <laughs> oh, there's Almost. the pit. Yeah. And time to get another armor. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You can cheese it at the moment. You won't be able to later. Ah, uh, okay. I'll stop. But you don't need to cheese it because one point of armor is enough to block all damage at the moment. Oh! <laughs> so you don't need three armor. <laughs> am I invulnerable now? Yeah. He oh. said that. He, yeah. I he, didn't read that. Yeah. You were probably playing. Yeah. So yeah. When is it? When, when is oh, good enough? okay. Oh. Get come at me, bro. No, he won't come to you. No, he can't hurt me now. Yeah, but you should still kill him. <laughs> he deserves the gold his Jawa. eternal rest. <laughs> Thought they were pterodactyls. <laughs> pterodactyls? Mm. Somebody was talking about pterodactyls in mm. the Discord chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's the same person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're not going to go in the graveyard now. We're going to go up. 
Now that we're invincible! I'm not so scared. Okay. The map is very different now. Mm. Really, really different. So, it's it, almost... changed the last It's totally part, useless now. Oh, there's a door. Hi, kitty! Gravekeeper Shack. Come here. Yeah. Come, Ataris. There's that tail. Oh. Smack it in the face. Smack. Cat butt. Yes. Yeah. He wanted some cat butt. Oh, more. Oh, what's this one? Nope. You fell into the same pit. What? This isn't the same place. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yep. It's the exact same dudes. Kill him. Get him. He does stay away from you. Yeah. He doesn't come up to you. He doesn't come up to you. He shoots you from afar. Very cowardly. Hmm. Oh, is it this way? Um, hmm. I swear I didn't go in a circle, but this is making me think I'm going in a circle. <laughs> go out the door, go straight ahead, ahead at, at the, the crossroad. Road. Okay, so I'm going straight dark. ahead. Okay. Oh, no, it's a pit. Oh, this is. That's the same pit. Straight at the crossroad? Maybe north? So, so you went through that door. Okay, I came out the door. He says, go out the door, go straight ahead at the crossroad. There's the crossroad, so I'm going straight ahead. Yeah. No. And then to the left is What's the pit. to the right? Is the whole graveyard. Oh, no, it's not. There's another door. Okay. Graveyard passage. Okay. Mm, I don't know where I am. Is this going back down? That's backwards. Well, we don't know how laggy his comment is. Um, I think this is the door to... Yeah, this is the door upward to all this. Mm. So, I have not been down... Oh, can't. And then up here, to the left, is the door. And then up this way is the pit... Which I don't want to go to. Yeah, because you, you oh. end up right back where you started. Okay, no, I know the way around now. So I have to go through the graveyard. And up and oh. around. Kill it. Uh, no. Now you've got two things to kill. That's okay. They can they can deal with it. And then that should be a dead end, and then that should be the way through. Yes. there you don't just, care now because you're in this <laughs> it's just like flies bugging me hey kitten oh this is a long passageway that is not on the map mm. none of this is on the map my asmites mm, that's what the purple is <gasps> that's new a blighted mausoleum. Are Ooh, we supposed to go here? This must be where you get the key. Yes. Oh. Skulls. Lots of skulls. Gold skulls. I like the gold skulls. Yeah. They're a nice touch. Not just skulls. They also oh, there's denote... There's nothing in here. There's a door. Yeah, it's a door back out. It's just a tiny little thing. Tiny. Tiny. There's no hidden doors right now, so... There must be more of them somewhere. Keep looking. Maybe there's a bunch of mausoleums you have to check through. I'm very lost now. Oh, it's the same one. Is it the same one? Uh, maybe not. Maybe you have to... Oh, nope. it's not. Okay. Oh, another thing to open. Does that open that thing? Oh, it's very bright now. <laughs> uh, another one. Not yet. Another one. <gasps> Yay! What did this give me? Oh, magic points. Oh, <gasps> fireball. Fireball. Oh, I have to select the fireball, don't I? And can you put it in one hand, or can you put it in the other oh, hand? Oh no! How do you do the fireball? Not yet. Hmm. There's a key. You 
got the key from them. It's a couple of mausoleums, yeah. Purple ones are... My husband's. Not yet. Your oh, focus is you five, not ten. ten. Ah. So I need more mausoleums to raid. Uh, oh. I'm thoroughly lost now, by the way. Because this is... Yeah. Not the same. Oh, oh save. save. Woot! Oh, what's this? Oh, is that the key? Yeah, maybe. You can push forward. Push forward. Oh, oops. Oh, ossuary, ossuary of Slep. <laughs> oh, what does that do? I need oh, my sword. You don't have your sword? Oh, easy. Easy, dude. But he's very cool looking. Floaty skull guy wearing a shirt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Blue shirt wearing floaty skull. Very good design skull. of the uh, baddies. And the movement. Yeah, really sells the movement's it. really good. That's where I came in. Right? Oh my god. Nightmare. It's even worse for you guys. You don't even know where when I'm turning. Well, that's one thing. Let's try the other side. So much design went into this, which is really, really cool. Yeah, because you see the lit... Creating all the mazes and creating the different interiors and the exteriors. And the, see the, really nice. the lit rock? Yeah, the shine on the rock. Yeah, yeah really, it's really gorgeous. nice. gorgeous. I'm going to follow along. Okay, that's nothing. Following the wall. Oh, Ooh, that helps. Follow the wall. Oh, it's very Doodle -doodle. bright. Very bright in here. <gasps> oh! Oh! Is that two of them? No. Nope, you're hitting the wrong button. Oh, sword time. There you go. <laughs> Follow the wall. Following the wall does not work in all mazes, because if you're in a loop, well, you'll you just, just go follow around, around, around and around. Yeah, it so it it, it you helps, have, but you have to pay attention. Yeah, you do have to break that that rule once in a while. Break the okay. fourth wall. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Oh, so I think you're that's same, the same. save. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. That's where the bones live. Okay. Definitely a new area. I didn't see it behind the fence before. See, you're moving. But I am it moving. Looks like you're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. It's a mausoleum. Yeah, I think I. This is the one I went in. Yeah. So let's go back and then go down instead. Oh my goodness. Should I go in here? There might be potion. You need more focus points, right? I do. Maybe I needed to go back to that one. Hmm. You probably need to grab another key. Oh, in general. In 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 another mausoleum. So you have to find it in the mausoleum. I'm gonna guess. Oh my god. <laughs> so mazy and troublesome. It's troublesome because the map doesn't work anymore. Oh! Is this the same one? I think everything, yeah. But this is where the key was, right? Maybe. Oh. That was the potion. Then I'll be able to sh Throw fireballs! Almost! Eight, nine, ten, and fireball! 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 Okay, okay I've got another key. Um, so I select a <gasps> fireball. Nice! Oh, but you can only. Oh, it. It uses. Oh, up. it regenerates, though. Yeah. It regenerates pretty awesome. fast. Awesome! Nice! Can't wait to use it now. Oh, this is where it breaks because you shouldn't be able to do that yet. So you're probably back in the same mausoleum. You're, you're probably supposed to find it somewhere else. <laughs> Cause Too late. Because it's regenerating, right? Too yeah. late, Smitty. <laughs> I am more powerful than ever. You created a monster. <laughs> he's found the force, and he's moved moved over to the dark side. That's right. I have the fireballs, and I'm not giving them up now that I have them. <laughs> I am I am thoroughly lost. I'm gonna have to follow a wall. <laughs> 
love that. Just follow a wall. Is this a new one? This? Oh, 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 I think this is a new one. Die. Die from fireball. Nice. Uh, not as powerful as I thought. No, it's pretty good. This is new. This is definitely new. Oh, two of them. Oh, I'm out. Ah, my hand. Just switch. I want fireball and sword. Can you put one on each hand? I don't know how. He's eating you. Because it's only changing what's in my left hand. Yeah. I don't know how to change it in the right. I don't want to press... Do I hold it down? No. Help! How do you change what's in your right hand? Select and reset each change of hand. Oh, reset doesn't reset? Oh, I'm very scared. I should do it. Oh. That's what I want. Nice. Sword, fireball. Nice. Now I have all the power. Oh, is this the extra magic? I don't know. It's green. What yeah, happened? nothing. So probably that was your focus. Was that the focus? You have to pause and reset to go back to the... Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, good night, MK Smith. Good night, MK Smith. Or good morning. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> H HP. Oh, I'm up to 15. Oh, nice. Okay. That's good stuff. So I think I've got everything in here now. Yeah. Okay. Where's that door again? Lost the door. It was right beside me. There. Is it there? Is it there? There it is. I love the thunder and lightning. Oh, yeah. It's really great. I'm sure I've been in all these I now. think you probably got everything you need. Everything except to 10 or past 10 now. Okay. I don't know. Now what? I'm going to follow the right-hand wall, I guess. Because everything, all those things are on the wall. Keep following the right. You're heading south. And uh east. Are you going you were going south along that wall. So aren't you trying to go so north where generally? Is I kinda wanna uh, I kinda wanna go uh, I don't know if this is accurate at all. East? I kinda wanna go east. Yeah. And then south. Fireball! And sword! That's the, you went backwards, for oh, sure. That's good, because that's on back of the graveyard. Yeah. So this is that's where you more to where. We go northeast. Northeast, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, okay. Fireball. Northeast. So you can now do distance shots mm. for things that. Uh, but not that northeast. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm back in the graveyard. I need to get out of this. Yeah. There we go. We're in the graveyard still. No, I don't think so. Am it I? says graveyard at the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, you went really far south. Yeah, I did. Those are the mausoleums. Oh, the graveyard's huge. It's the whole thing. Well, I guess that's true. So this is east, north, east. Because the map does kind of go up to the north and east. East. And then I... Mm. But that looks like it could be that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can go around that, maybe. Oh, no. There's the save point. So, so go you go around. back and around to the save point. So this is where you are. You are there on the map. Yep. Oh! What? Is that new? No, I've been in there. I've been in there. What? This. Oh, no, I haven't. No. It's a key. How did I miss that? Or. I always do it wrong. Sword. Okay, this was the... Okay, this has to be... You went in and then left before doing what you need oh. to do. So, okay, that makes sense. Because this looks... The like a big thing. The floors of blood does yeah. make it feel like this is towards the end of the game. but Yeah, it does. I'm going to so. explore everywhere by following the wall. <laughs> Follow. 
below the wall. Nope. Is that the pitfall person on James's shirt? Nope. This is Jumpman. And Jumpman Jr. One of my favorite games that has not quite been fully done on the 2600 yet. Mm. People have made a couple attempts and we've had them on the show. One is Timmy mm. um, by Daryl oh, Spice Jr. Light it. Not not yet. Ah! I think I did a lot of this one because it got mm -hmm. lighter and lighter, but then I, I left, I guess. Um, and another one we did on the show, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was very much like Jumpman, but it was never completed. Nope, that's the exit. Don't want to do that's that the yet. That's exit, yep. That's a dead end lit. So we'll do another loop because there was a gate. At some place there was a gate that was down. And that's probably what I did. I went all the way around and didn't go back to the gated mm. area. Nope, still. But can you get behind that gate? Uh, Try to get behind it. Let's like see. Go to the right and see. Oh, there's an open gate. And then okay. left. Okay. Oh. Ooh, but this is a new area. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, there's... <laughs> the fan totally. Oh, it blew me into it. Okay, that's good. What's going up? Uh, Focus and magic mm, see this is now where you're supposed to get the fireball oh it stopped oh good uh -huh. Danger. and it disappears okay oh another one. Oh, it's the plate I haven't seen jump man Ju um well it's not on the it's it's on like atari and apple maybe mm -hmm. and c64 definitely because that's where i played it it's an awesome game it's a really good platformer. So this is how you get in behind. Oh my goodness. The fan pushes you away though. A maze with fans. <laughs> That's a pretty neat thing. So you go in a way and it can like push you all the way down yeah. corridors. That would be infuriating. Yeah. Okay, so that's still closed. Yeah. Why are you disconnecting? I don't know. Congrats, you now have the fireball. Yeah. <laughs> For Officially. Real. <laughs> um, did I get everything? Because there's yeah, still but there's a, stuff, a that's switch there. The switch is behind. But there's no way is to there, get that is one. Is there a trap? Trap? Like something like that? Somewhere that opens it? This is all fans. You got the fireball. You need to use it. Do you shoot the fireball through the gate? I oh. did. I did. Did you? I just did. Yeah. And it, did it light fun. it there? Ha ha! Oh, I think Now maybe swear you can I get did. the yellow potion? No. No. We're no. getting there. Maybe it turned off the fan now. Oh, that'd be nice. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Still blew me away down that. That's nothing. This is a big area. <laughs> Huge. Um, it's that. That red. That internal for sure. area, yeah. Okay, let's go back a bit because there's another gate back here. There we go. Oh, oh there's a way no. down. I'm going to look around first before I go down there. Oh, it's a lot of area here. Oh. Something. You triggered a plate in the floor or something? Uh, whatever just happened, I didn't you see it. You triggered happen. something. Oh, that's good. <laughs> None so of the triggers the seem yellow... to be too bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if there's a yellow. Oh, should I go back up? Oh, Why is it dark? Because it restarted. Oh. Well, I'm down now. Okay, well, you can skip should the yellow Should I go potion. back up? I should go back. Oh, I can't see anything. You have to light everything up again. Oh. Hmm. Does it come back to you? Oh, look at that. Look at that. You can light up the hallway. With your magic fireball. That's a nice touch. Uh, something just happened. Mm-hmm. Weird. You lit, you lit a torch with your fireball. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that is a, that is That's neat. cool power. That's very cool. No, it does not come back at you if you throw it at a fan. <laughs> that would be funny. It should. Well, it, That'd it's be a so nice quick. Oh. That's my fireballs. <clears throat> Me making it back to that ladder is zero. Wow. 
You want to find the yellow potion, right? Yeah, behind the gate that may or may not be up there. <sighs> it might have been reset, so... There's some... Oh, I don't think I can get out of here now. What do you mean? Because all the gates are reset, right? And this... Know. You just have to hit all the the floor traps. And oh, the... God. You're not stuck? No. Okay. I didn't think so. I'm confused, but I'm not stuck. <laughs> That's uh, a different thing. There you go. Oh! Double hit. You can do both at once. You don't even need to relight the torches. Oh, really? I thought maybe you did to, to spark some of the... It's still it anyway. fun, though. <laughs> it is fun. <laughs> it implies... Are the custard blobbies flammable? <laughs> there with the fireball! Uh, that, that is the, the exit. Okay. So, um, I need to go look at that gate again, I guess. Well, the yellow? Yeah. That's a dead end. Is it this way, then? No. Is it this huh? way? Okay. It is, still. Okay, well... Yeah. Oof, oh my god, that's so, that's so, con oh, hello. <laughs> um, it's so confusing mm -hmm. when you get blown by the fan. You're like, I didn't press the b direction. <laughs> okay, let's just go down. Yeah. If I can. Okay, there we go. Back this way, and we're going down that I can't get past. So you have to go to the right? Yeah. To go around it, I guess? Yeah. Skulls. Skulls. Oh, you can die now. Ha, ha, ha. That's nah. awesome. <laughs> That's a nice bonus. Oh, glitchy. Oh, it... Turned off. Turned off. There's a little broken area there. Hmm. Uh, okay, That's so that okay. did something. So maybe the fan is is turned off from the other side. Oh, now you can get past it. Oh yes, that's how. That's what did it. Okay. Mm. Yep. There we go. Clever. Nice little Very puzzle. Very nice. I can appreciate a good puzzle. Oh, that's oh. a pit. Let's not quite go in there yet. That's. A uh, ladder up and down. We came. Uh, uh, down, down to here, yeah. so both of these are viable. Well, oh, what? Did I fall in a trap? I don't know. Like there was no pit, and I just walked forward. It just went red. You might have fallen into it. Yeah, you fell through. Okay, there's kind of a trap, like right here. Watch. If I go forward, yeah, I'm gonna fall, even though there's nothing there. Yeah, you did fall. Hmm. Mapping Is issue. Is that on purpose or? Trap door. It might be a hidden trap. Oh, well, I need to do that. Anyway. That's a nice reward sound. It's like, yep, that's a, that's a thing that's positive that you've done. Uh, so that... Maybe it was a trapdoor. I don't know. It's on purpose, but not as obvious as it should be. Yeah. Maybe you should open it up and then fall. Like... So it's a open so above it's like, you? Well, there's a no, way, it is like, open above like you. Like before you fall, like make the the floor beneath you. Like like it you like step open. forward it opens and then you're yeah. down. Something like like an extra screen. Yeah. So there's a fan. That's a fan. So where uh, did I go back up? No, I don't think so. Did you? Yeah, you did go back up. Did you? Yeah. No, that, I yeah. don't know. I'm confused. Maybe. I am very confused. I don't know which level I'm in, <laughs> where I'm going. Both, both attack. Oh, two of them. Lots of magic points right now. I mean, it's worse for you because you don't yeah, know no which idea. direction I'm heading. I feel this is different. Yeah, this is this is. A you are on level. another floor. Yeah should be open but you don't fall until you look down like wily e. coyote <laughs> right that would be good good night arena foot right arena foot 
think it's a couple hours ahead, so. Two? Three? I don't know. Louisiana? Yeah, hope you're doing okay out there. Yeah, I asked him Craziness. before the show, yeah. and he said he was fine. It passed by him to the west, I mm. think. Lots of damage. Oh my god, so Craziness. Okay, let's talk about the... No. Documentary! Oh, yes! What was it? Press start. Press start. Down. I guess I'm going down, because I haven't found anything else. Oh. oh, this is the same. No, it's not. Okay. So it was a six-part... Oh, that's it. That is it. That's all you get. Okay. I don't think I've been there. Six-part documentary. Um, what did it say it was about? Like, what's its... Not what it is, but what did it imply that it was? That it was the know. history of video games. Kind. No. I mean, I don't know what it implied it was. It does take you through chronologically a little bit. Yeah, through... but it, it's certainly not a comprehensive history. Oh, it's it's more God, just no. like interesting stories associated to the it's... early days of video gaming. That's kind of how I, I see that? it. No. Oh, did I? I did no. go through it. Did ah, you? Yeah. So you can pass through. Well, you stopped it. Yeah. Yeah. There's, but I, oh, I maybe there's something to light. Let me go check that again. Um, what did you think of it before I? I can't see anything. Oh. I'm hitting something. It's like hitting the wall. Okay. <laughs> what did you think of it? Me. As a whole. I enjoyed it. I thought it was light. I thought it was it was interesting. It was it was sort of curated stories. Um related to the early days of video gaming and i think they were they were trying to present a as diverse a set of people as they could if that makes sense but um i enjoyed it i thought it was good good night dan abc night captain classics says we'll only watch the first three parts oh yeah i mean i i liked it as a documentary it wasn't super serious or anything like that I, yeah. it was fine it was fine it was good. What was your impression of it? Um, it was very slickly produced. Yeah, I thought it looked good. Yeah. The animations were really good. I'll talk really about the good, good things first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the people they have in it are very interesting. Yes. I think that um, was a main focus. They, they were looking for interesting stories, not necessarily to show a comprehensive yeah. history or anything like that. Um, the... I think I've done everything uh, that I need to do. I just need to go back up now. Well, you didn't kill him, so. Yeah, they regenerate, though. Do they? I think. <laughs> uh, oh, pretty easy. Uh, the the way they involved the people they inter interviewed was very good. They were very good sports. Like, they're yeah. doing funny things, and they're recreating events. That was very cool. Um, this is new. That's new. Yeah. It's like, hey, you should. Save. You need to save right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is on Netflix. Yeah, it's on yep. Netflix. Um, is it on Netflix? Yes. Yeah, Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. I'm gonna go down here. Heavily, this heavily. This is new. This is new. Slept the idol. Light it up. Um. Oh, it's dark. Kind of. It's what's this way? Oh, potion. Uh -oh. oh, 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 oh my god. Die, where are you? Oh my god, something's shooting at me. Oh, there we go. You have to get close enough to Oh, it's not that bad. There's like Ooh. panic music. Like boss music. Yeah. Is it the... It might be the boss. I don't know. It seemed boss-like. Somewhat boss-like. He was throwing skulls. I mean, I've gotten some. I've got some power ups that I shouldn't have got. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is a boss. Yeah, for sure. Is it? Yeah, it's, this is all that's in here. That's very cool. Is it? First boss, essentially. Oh, nice. Nice music, and it was like there's skulls coming at me. Yeah. From a distance. Oh. oh. And then you get a hit points power up. Very nice. And a way out. Nice. You're trapped with the boss. Mm. Very cool. Um, before I read that, I'll read that because <laughs> I have classic. to finish my yep. uh, thought on it. Yep. Um, I'm going to let you have it. Oh. Because. Am I just wandering now? I think you just get out Am of I here. Am I done or? 
No, you get out of this, and then we need to go back to that store. Oh, the we do? Track. Yeah. So you need to get out. Oh, oh my god. That was fast. Here. Oh, very nice. Now you can backtrack. I like that. He's made it like... Oh, what games? Oh, like uh, any of the Elder Scrolls games? When you go to the boss and you defeat the boss, and all of a sudden... There's an exit right yeah, there yeah, that yeah. brings you right back yeah, to the world. Yeah, yeah, that's I exactly like that. what he did, and that's awesome. Oh, it was a potion, not a mallard. It does look a bit like a mallard. <laughs> Mal get the, the mallard. Get the magical mallards. Mallard for hit points. They up your, they up your points. Um, okay, what else is good? Um, yeah, the people in it, the things they got them to do, the things yeah. they talked about with them. That that's the graphics. My turn. My yeah. turn. No, no, I'm saying that's what I enjoyed about okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, agreeing. <laughs> no agreeing. <laughs> um, um, uh, I guess that's it for good things. <laughs> yeah. And, yes. Okay. Uh, the bad things. Uh, it kind of made itself out to be the history of video games. Oh, I see, yeah. In my opinion, maybe I got the wrong opinion out of, of it because it does take you through chronologically. It takes you through arcades, yeah. 2600, crash of video games, Nintendo's help for the resurgence in the mid 80s to get it back going. Then it goes to 3D games and fighting games and it, it does go through the eras, but it is far from the history of video games. It misses so much so 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 much mm. um you're right you have to backtrack to the stores yeah i don't need to go in any of those no things. i don't think so oh. die die um it's more of selected conversations with important people in video game history yeah as it quickly glosses over everything else well i i wouldn't <laughs> even say it's it's that my feeling from it is they wanted to show some diverse opinions. Like, like it, they spoke to some very specific people. Very specific. And, and very good people. Um, to show some, some, some unique people from, from that go. era. It, it's it, no way I would call it like the history of, of, oh, of nice. that era. I think it's more, more some stories really. South um, they did, West. they did, they did go through certain eras and they did talk about certain systems and they yeah. tried to highlight interesting stories, like things they that did. they thought people would Mission want. Mission accomplished. I, I thought it was good. I enjoyed it, but it, it's not a history. It's not all encompassing. I mean, to be honest, if you wanted to do a history, you could do a history in six parts of the Atari machine and not touch on the rest. Oh, do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, I don't think you would ever satisfy. They didn't talk about Intellivision, Coleco. Oh, no. It, it, you couldn't Barely do that in six, in six small documentary episodes. Like, it, there's so much there. Um, yeah. So, really, you wouldn't be able to cover everything anyway. But I um, mean, we're 2,600 enthusiasts. Yes. But yeah. they didn't talk about... They, they flashed the Vectrex no. on the screen for two seconds. Yeah, yeah. there's just no way. Um, there's no way. I've seen much better documentaries about the history of video games. Yeah. I can't remember what they are, because there's been a lot of them. I would love if that dude who did the history of metal and global metal oh did one on, on video game systems or something like that, because his documentaries were brilliant And that. I don't know if you... I forget what it's called, but... Um, Yep. He the, did, the, he did, metal, the metal documentaries. And he's then doing he, a rap one now. Is he really? He, oh, he, he did, did one. He's two seasons in. Oh, that's oh yeah. We well, that. he produced that though. I don't think he. It's in the exact same he, style. Yeah, he, but he he didn't introduce thing. it, and I think he produced. Well, he's got a rapper to do it. Yeah. Not him. He's not a yeah. he's not a rap guy. Yeah, rap and hip hop. But um, but his the yeah the history of metal is so good. Good production values agreed. Pat the Ennius Punk his impression that he had a list of interviews built a docu off uh, documentary off of what the in, in the interviews high score seemed to highlight. Some of the things are minor they things and breeze right through yeah. over big things. Overall, I thought it was okay. Didn't really learn anything new. I learned a couple little tidbits yeah. about those people. I think some I'd, new interview footage was nice. I wouldn't say the documentary is geared towards people who are enthusiasts. It's no. meant for the general public, right? So, and I mean that's what a lot of documentaries are. They're for general consumption, not for people who are really interested in the nitty gritty details. Um, 
so it didn't have a lot of information and a lot of history in it, but I still liked it. I still thought it was well done. I enjoyed watching it. So Yeah, I watched it all. So as you say, you have to go in with the right expectations. It's yeah. it's more for general consumption and it's slick. It's the animation is gorgeous. The what is it, eight bit, sixteen bit, I don't know, whatever they're trying to mimic, the animation um is great. Sixteen. Sixteen? Yeah. Everybody says whenever they put stuff on the screen, like uh um, graphics from yeah. you know the old era they're never 8-bit oh no, they're no always 16 this, well not even 8 -bit because 8-bit is, is rough stuff they're manipulated to be animations too right so they don't really look yeah. like what they would on the system but they're they're just yeah they're okay. manipulations but I am at the grave keepers grave keeper shack and now is this where across the way is the graveyard right I think if you go this way, then this way it's the pit, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So I think I know where I am again. So I was just going south, 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 west, south, 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 west. So I'm all the way back. Uh, Wherever the graves were, the graves were along this this side, right? Yeah, they were. They're through there. So. You need to get through. Are they that? You need Is to that? get through this gate, right? That's where you're trying to get to. So I think the graves were down this way, were they? Are they? They weren't on the map. The graves. Anyway, I have to go south. I think. Yeah. I'm a little confused. Like I thought the graves were on the left, forward, right, forward, right. <laughs> Facing away from the uh, the door. I'll go back to the door. Where's the door? There we go. Okay. So left. <laughs> left. So left there. Okay, so. <laughs> facing away from the door. <laughs> like, there's the door. Facing away from it. Left hand down a bit. Oh, somebody's a fan of this game. <laughs> 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 Best Docs are King of Kong. Yes. Indie game, the movie, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Man vs. Snake, yes. Need to watch Minecraft, the story of Mojang, free to play. Uh, I haven't seen free to play or, or story of Mojang. Mojang. But no. those, King of Kong, best dramatic. Oh, King of Kong's fabulous. So good. Even it's though so it's, good. It's, it's it's not right and it's whatever, it's not accurate, it's really well put together. Oh, it's great to watch. Indie game, the movie is incredible. Like, yeah. incredible. The people they have in it. Okay, forward, 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 right, forward, lies. <laughs> There's nothing to write. There's nothing. Should I go all the way forward? Yeah. And then right. Okay. Graveyard Passage. Okay. And this, okay, that one takes us. Back down. Back down. To down there, to the I left. Think. Yeah, so you want to go to the left. And then down. Yeah. Further and south. South. I think. That's yes, it. I think you're right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Save. So the save. Oh, no, never mind. It's not labeled. Yeah, so you just want to kind of keep heading south, right? I just went around that. Yeah, south. Yeah, yeah pretty much keep heading south. Then at some point there's a gate, right? You couldn't get through before. It's like that. Here. Yeah. Near the save point again, you might want to use it. Uh, well, I I did save. Yeah. I'm lost. But you you want to go through that gate. You need to be paying more attention. So. Still going south. Yeah, but you, you're going to go right past where you need to turn right. No, because I'm looking. There. So. That's why. That's very clever. Yeah. So that gate doesn't even open. You have to open it. G4 icons are available for free on YouTube. Yeah. G4 icons. Hmm. 
Hey, it works if I set it to 1080p. Yeah, you lost the stream. Oh, no. 1060p. 1060p. No, we're, we're solid. We haven't dropped a frame. Well, that's good. Amazing. Yeah, that is shocking because you're having trouble time. for a while. It's been a long time since that's happened. We were dropping like just tiny, tiny, like 0.1% the cat pass couple, but now. Okay, so now this is uncharted territory. Mm hmm. Okay, so this, if the maps are accurate, straight down, this is a dead end. There's just nothing. I'm just going to explore it anyway. Nothing, yeah. And then this is the continued path over there mm -hmm. to the west. And there's a bunch of little offshoots. Um... How they put together the film, like going back to what Pat said on his show, um, even if, like they had a narrator, so even if they were like, oh, we only have these people, these only these people responded, or these are the cool people, and we got them. They could have filled in with the narrator, with archival footage, with um, footage on the screen. So there's this loops around. So there's a gate. Yeah, I can go around that gate. Yeah, that's probably what you need to do. Yeah. And um, yeah, since they had a narrator, they, you can do anything with the narrator. Mm. You can fill in any gaps you want. Mm -hmm. So they and they did bits of the film like that, where they there's that gate. Uh, okay, a little lost, but so I'm going around. Oh, another gate. Because I realize there's something underneath, so maybe there's a down. At some point. Because I made it, my documentary, we didn't use a narrator. And we did that on purpose. Because we knew we had to get everyone saying the things we wanted to have in the film. So, there we go. Abandoned stores. We finally made it in. Woo! Uh, um, and so they, we, we couldn't create anything from from mm. from nothing we had to create it from everything everybody said um die, die, die. <laughs> so we went into it knowing that and had to go to the right people we interviewed over 200 people for our film it's a lot of people, <laughs> it's a lot of people. and yeah. i mean pat and Ian said oh they interviewed about you know 10 15 people yeah or whatever they said um, and yeah, there wasn't very many people. Aha, uh -huh, an upgrade. An upgrade! Oh, bigger sword. <laughs> Slightly bigger sword. Yay! Oh, oh armor! Give it to me! <laughs> Some? Something? What are those? Boots? Maybe. <laughs> Can't tell. This is, this is the store, right? It's a lantern. Oh, a lantern. Is it a lantern? Is it a thing? <gasps> oh, it's a... What's Can that? I, can I use it? Oh! Whoa! Oh, you took points. a potion and it's dropping. No, but I still have the potion. What? I can still... It's oh, health? lantern! Nice. Yeah, it's like a increase. A health. But you have to select it but then to have it. And it but, you lose, but it goes you down. Lose, it slowly goes down. Temporary. Oh. But a lantern. Bright. Nice. Look how bright it is. I'll go for the big sword for now. Yeah, you can Very see. Very cool. Oh, Wow. So nice. Let's go, let's go back here. Can't open those <laughs> yet. So I'm, I'm essentially looting this door. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> looting! Woo! Woo I mean, it's abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he did put that in, so that it's excusable. Like Why this. is HP dropping? Well, because you get your HP increase, but it slowly decreases it was over a, time. Yeah, it was just a it, temporary. It went up to eighty. It was like a boost to eighty, which is crazy. So I can see using that on a, like a boss. A boss, like yeah. A huge boss. That's crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's temporary. That's wearing off. What's that? Nope. Can you hear it? Yeah. Can you shoot a fireball? Nope. 
What can I do to it? Smack it. Smack with a big sword. <laughs> Should fireball at it. Do both at the same time. No. That's uh. Need infinite keys. That's like infinity sideways. Mm-hmm. You're definitely missing something. Maybe I need the lantern to go through it. Mm-hmm. Or not. Ooh. Ooh. That symbol is supposed to mean the door is unlocked by a trigger somewhere on the map. Oh, okay. oh, oh. oh my goodness. This oh my. keeps going. It just keeps I going. I thought it was done. <laughs> Plus the trigger might wow. open those locked gates yeah. too. So this is the the basement. Oh, spiders. Oh my god. Where's where's my fireball? Why isn't it triggering? There you go. Why is it being so slow? That was a pretty cool spider. It's all jittery. Really Hopped cool. up on coffee. Hopped up. <laughs> coffee yes. spider. He was really excited to see you. He hasn't seen like, someone hey, in there. I want there. a hug with yeah. my eight arms. Yeah. Give me a hug. It's like an Atari. Jump into your arms and purr. And purr. <laughs> Purring spider. Oh, he's, he's easy with my huge strength and armor. <laughs> nice. Uh, nothing there. There was something down here I didn't quite look at. This loops around. Oh, I'm gonna check there. I think I came from this way. Yeah. Oops. So let's keep going. And that's out. Did I get anything down here? I, uh, I didn't push a trigger, that's for sure. So I'm gonna do see a little. See if there's a trigger somewhere. A little reconnaissance again. Go around the outside edge. You need to throw a fireball down here. Oh. Somewhere. Through a I gate, maybe. I didn't see anything. Probably through a gate. Yeah. But of course no. I can't see in the dark. I'll, I'll go around again and do the fireball. Yeah. Is there some I didn't... Uh... Oh, that just goes through that gate. Oh! Oh! Did it, did it. Oh, I hit... It got brighter. Okay. Wow, that's... Uh... So you can't do it from this side. I'm going to just throw it on every. No, of course. Because <laughs> there might be more than one. Either you're going to... I do like that you have that trigger noise, like doo -doo 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 -doo. yes, you need it. It's like aha, <laughs> that worked. You probably gotten it because other because it's a dark hallway. You can't yeah. see all the way down. Okay, I'm, I think I I did it. So <laughs> you went back up. Yeah, but I'm gonna <gasps> go nope. to those gates that had awesome stuff behind it first, and then go back to that. If I can find my way back. So many windy. Who makes a store like this? Oh. oh, I can't get it. I can't get it. Sadness. Okay, I'm going through the door if I can. Anything? Warning. Oh, warning. When you get the key, don't use it except on the door I say this bit is a bit broken. Okay. When oh. you find the key, just wait to use it. So I don't have the key yet for whoa what two doors here you don't have a key yet yeah it's you not went locked. through well you unlocked it oh okay because you triggered oh no the infinity door was still there oh isn't that the infinity door oh can't go through yet no but there is a gray door that yeah i, saw I the don't gray remember door. going through is that you're in or you're out no? maybe Oh. That's a key. Okay. Okay, I haven't found a key. Oh my no. goodness. Okay. In conclusion, um, it's worth watching for the, <laughs> for the stories, but don't yeah. go watching it thinking it's a history of the video no, games. No, no. Go watch it thinking that we've got some cool interviews with cool people. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Go back down? Do you have a key? No. I don't think so. A lantern? No. Uh... <laughs> 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 it's in that small room. Small room? All the rooms are the same size. <laughs> oh, looked around. You mean down here? 
Is there a room down here? This is kind of a small room. Not much to it. <laughs> I Maybe I didn't see meant. everything. Well, you had you went through like you keep going through two door. I don't know where you are at all because you keep going through door door door. I'm like I, I know it's confusing. You have a better sense of it than I do. The torch in the basement unlocks the door next to the locked door. That's to it? get the key to unlock the locked door. So it's right next to the infinity door. So you need to be on the upper floor, and okay. it's a door next to the infinity door. Okay. I have to try backtrack quite a bit, because this is a ways... Oh. Yeah. It's the infinity door. So okay. It's... There's a small room. Oh. Let's go up this way. Hmm. That way? No, nope, didn't. So I have to go this way. There's nothing next to the infinity door. Other video game docs. Atari Game Over. Yeah, that was that was okay. Video Games the Movie. I've never seen that one. Chasing Ghosts Beyond the Arcade. I don't remember seeing that one. Mm. Video Game Invasion. I haven't seen that one. Oh, four. From Bedrooms to Billions, uh, I haven't sounds, seen that one. That sounds familiar, actually. Nintendo Quest, I remember that one. Rise of the Video Game, I swear I remember that one. They're, they blur together after a while. Yeah. Unless they're, like, really specific. Like, Quest. Oh, no, Nintendo Quest. I, there's, I think that's the one where the guy just goes around all all over the country oh and he tries to that, buy video games yeah, he tries yeah. to get every nintendo but every nintendo but he totally game. just didn't do it like he he just went to people who had here's a door he went to what did he, did he go to video game stores or he was not allowed to go to video game stores like, the rules were terrible okay so there's the infinity and there's a door near it near it Microman. No, I haven't seen Microman. And then there's a key. So this is the small mm. room. Let's see if there's a key in. Maybe there's a key in here that opens that. But maybe you don't open that door. Maybe you open the infinity door. So mm. lost. Oh, this is this part. We're very confused. Yeah. It's such a huge maze. Yeah. With multiple doors. Oh, maybe I should just start throwing fireballs down this again. <laughs> nope. I think you need to find the key. Once upon an Atari. Oh my god, there's so many key uh, movies. From where Close. you are, there's one unlocked door. Go through and turn left. Okay, there's an unlocked door here. Go through. That. This is like. Actually, the there's two. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we're outside. We're not supposed to be outside, so are not we? Not that one. Okay. Oh. oh no, it starts over again. <laughs> That's okay. Now you've reset everything. There's also <laughs> the entrance. Yeah. yeah. Everything's reset. Uh, even the darkness. Everything? Maybe. All the gates? Yeah, maybe. Well, that's why I'm out, I'm out of magic. That's why I can't throw it all the time. Oh, and it's the wrong button. That helps too. Oh, another sword! Double swords! Can I do two-handed swords? Well, I guess you could with the small one. <laughs> yeah. Mallard! <laughs> <laughs> it does look like it. Oh! That was the lantern. Double lanterns! Very lit hallways. Is it on this level where the the, this, the other door is? Might not be unlocked anymore though. True. Mallard. <laughs> ah. It's following the outside wall. Cause it's hard to describe where to go. There's the infinity door. So we can stand here, and you can help help direct us from the infinity door. You need to go downstairs to uh, light the torch, yeah, because oh, you've okay. so already need reset it. So I'll go downstairs. 
Fluffy spiders. Hi, fluffy spider. Oh, bring. There we go. That was a short little jaunt. To Here's the do. fluffy spider. He's only got four legs, though. Okay, so we've lit. Now we'll go back to the door. Yeah. Where is it? It's fluffy. Yeah. You're gonna purr? Okay. You're annoyed? Are you annoyed? Are you annoyed? He's purring. Good. So I've lit the torch back at the infinity door. And now if there's a way to describe how to get to the door you want me to go to because there's so many doors there are several doors back up and turn right back up okay back up turn right okay and then what <laughs> somewhere down here You're in a maze of twisty, turny passages. Well, you're still here. I completed a mandatory work training course while you've been at it. <laughs> mandatory training Nathan course. Nathan Strum. <laughs> well, we're very close. We could eat the spiders if it existed in the game. <laughs> oh, he's purring. Oh, he's happy? Yeah, he's happy, cat. Oh, look at that face. Yeah. So precious. Uh -huh. There's a door. No. And you just reset it again. Uh, you have to stop <laughs> doing that. But I get another potion. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, kitten. All done. That's the other thing. Oh, another lantern. Ah, double. Triple lantern now. Very easy to light, but It'd be much easier with a map. <laughs> Where are we? There's the infinity door, and we go over here, and I think it's down here. No, nope. yeah, but you have way. to light the torch again, so it doesn't yeah. matter. There's yeah. the door. Yeah. So yes. you, you come back up, and it's right on the left. Yeah, it's very quick. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You already hit it from far away. <laughs> that was a good shot. Hit the spider. No? Not no, kill him. he's fluffy. He can oh. stay down here. He's just protecting his territory. So you, you go out, and then it's like right to the left. There. Yeah. No, that's the infinity door. I know. It's It's a... Oh, like the other door? The other door is down that hall, isn't it? Well, we'll see. Well, no, maybe not. I thought end. it was. Maybe you just looked at the infinity door a second time then. Could be. Yeah, you can't tell until you're up close. Well, we're not getting any more help. So <laughs> we're just, gonna have to He just says there's several doors. Yeah. Um you can leave that exercise for somebody else. But he says there's an end. Oh sorry. Is there He says there is an end to this and we're like, this is the end. We just need to find the door. And we've got it. And it just seems a little uh, silly to end it now after playing the game oh, yeah, I know. for two hours, three hours. And then not just walk through a door. So is this the door out? This gray door? Uh, don't know. I guess. I think. Because there's the, oh, yeah, that we, door and then there's the gray door. Yeah. That gray door Has requires a key. a key. Right. I think it's through that other door. No, but what one is the entrance? Not that one. I think it's far away. Are you sure? N not sure. But You've done that so many times. But you, we didn't see this think... immediately as we... That door. He says that door. This door? No, not that. The other one. <laughs> He's like, you found it. Go through that door. Okay. Okay. So it's in here. We find the key. The brown door. Okay. There's the key. Yay. Okay. Let's exit out. <laughs> okay. Stop. That, go to that gray door. The gray door or the infinity door?
<laughs> it's a sigh of relief. Um, the gray door. Okay. And you don't come back through because it, it's broken. Do not come back through that door. So you go through the door. And never come back out. Oh. oh. Otherwise, the game is over. Okay. Whew. Okay. I'll give you the sword back. Okay, don't go through that door again. You want to go through? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just look at the door. So it's the door. Don't re-enter it. That's across from that. Okay. Do not, we won't go through that door. Okay. And it's very, I think we have to go down there. And I think we have to use the up uh, the potion that gives us lots of power. <laughs> Did I miss it? Oh my goodness. It's a long stream. Yep. We have to go down there. Forced. You might remember this bit from ages ago. Okay. So now we can use all of our handy things. And I'll use my fireball. Should I use my fireball or sword? Probably sword. Actually, I'm going to put the uh, lantern in the right hand yeah the big sword in the left attack with my lantern i don't remember this i don't think i made it to this oh my god it's flickery oh. save point yeah that's usually a sign it's a bad sign usually okay oh my god cool though the flickery lighting oh it's from your lantern right yeah ah. obviously there's and we're in water Maybe. Knee, knee deep water oh I only have my sword. I'm infinitely powerful, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, something behind ocean. there. Oh my god, it's another nightmarish maze, isn't it? Smitty B. Why, Smitty B? He loves the mazes. There's a big area off to the side of this that's just a bunch of fights. If you continue oh. around the tunnels, you'll find the end. Okay. Yay. Oh, I thought I could hold it down. Yeah, oh, can. the big sword is heavy. Oh, one hit. Mm -hmm. The big sword kills the blue spider. Everybody's blue. They're all water. Yeah, they're all water creatures. So there's just a bunch of fights, but you just keep... Are these the fights? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of fights here. Yeah, this is all the fights. Yeah, if you continue around the tunnels. So you could probably keep running to the end, as I think what okay. he might be implying. I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Just keep Follow going. the right-hand wall. Nope. There we go. can't tell if it turned. <laughs> oh, my back. Might be. That's a gate. So there was another passage that didn't go down, though. Mm. <gasps> Death? Or... <laughs> <laughs> you just find you've come? Yay! So far that even you wanted, even if you wanted to, you're not sure you can make your way back. That's nice. for sure. Your only option is to press onward. And as you, and so you do, you do step by begrudging <laughs> step. Oh my God. Even as your hesitation roots you to the ground. Yeah. Progressing deeper through the maze of oppressive stone, the howls of the wind and rain grow fainter. But your fears are not allayed as the ominous chanting drifts through the stale air and an unnerving chittering seems to be coming from somewhere below. You close your eyes and take a moment to clear your mind and ready what little equipment you've been able to find. Actually, the equipment's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, stealing yourself against what you're yet to find in the cavernous depths and treacherous heights of the spire of the ancients. Yeah, we Yay! haven't been to a spire yet, have we? Like yep. a spire is like nope. up and up and up and up. Nope. Yay! Yay! Excellent! Cool. That was excellent! Oh my goodness. Excellent game. Very, very, very Very long. A lot of play. Yeah, exactly. Is there a, a, a hundred uh, little thing? Where's the... Uh, there a hundred symbol? Hundred? Yeah, to show that I completed it a hundred percent. Oh. Because <laughs> there should be. Raid, Search. Kapow, Tours. Oh, they can see the chat on here. Because <laughs> you're seeing the chat. How about well played? There we go. Oh, I can 
spin this around. Don't need to see the map anymore. Well played! <laughs> <laughs> Number one! Woohoo! Let's put this back up. There we go. Lovely, lovely. Really good. Really, really good. Yep. Yep. You've got to head your way to the Spire of the Ancients. Yeah. I love this great. Demo 2020. Oh, wait, 23. Yes. Excellent. Very well done. Excellent. Creatures are amazing. The puzzles are good. The mazes are torturous. Um, the equipment is, is a nice amount of equipment. Um, let's shut that down. Good congratulatory music. Yeah. There we go. Excellent. Um, uh, the graphics are great. The yep. sounds are great. Yes. Um, yes. The theme, the overall look of it is great. Oh, restart. <laughs> Re reload. Gotta Stream's hate that. still going. Yeah. Well, there's a good little yeah. congratulatory yeah. thing. Yep. And a hand clapping. Yeah. Um, what else? Everything's good. Um, I think the mazes are too big. T unless there's uh, more things in the mazes like i i think that's a personal preference because i hate mazes <laughs> and, and there's just a, just a mass of maze you know what i think um um smitty talked about putting things on the walls and mm. and 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 that helps orient andrew yourself Davey. andrew davy was talking about that yeah i thought smitty was talking about that too but well, anyway maybe. um uh, I think just something that helps with the orientation makes you get feel less lost yeah. when you're running through. I don't think the mazes were bad. I just think I think sometimes you really do get lost, and the walls all look the same, and and yeah. even going down long hallways, you don't realize how much you're going down. So maybe something something small like that might help your orientation. But other than that, games, it's great. Usually in games, I find there's one maze. Yeah, like that's the maze in the game. In this, it seems well, it's to the be whole game. Yeah. The whole game is a maze. Yeah. Um, or have some open spaces. Yeah, there's actually no open spaces, is there? Yeah, like have a big open space that you walk into. You'd have to put... I, I don't know if that's easy or harder. Differentiating tiles on the ground to show movement, though, so if the walls are too far off. Yeah, but yeah. you could also have baddies. He says not possible. Not possible. Okay, okay. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, the engine he made is, is one. Is one, yeah. Out. Nope, no, that's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But uh, no, it's so good. It's so good. It's really, really, good. really fun to play too. Entirely corridor-based engine. I like <laughs> An engine that's just corridors. It's all corridors. Yeah. It's all corridors. Yeah. No, it's it's so it can have awesome. like this or this. Yeah. Or this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's only yeah. X possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. No, that it makes looks sense. so good. Yep. So e good. E everything about it's lots really of, good. Lots of nostalgia like tied into that kind of Yeah, because I remember playing a lot of those games in the early mid eighties. Yeah. Where it was it was like corridors. corridors. That's all it was. Yeah, yeah. And you'd encounter things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That. Room for improvement. I mean I would nah, big open is harder because your game engine needs to rent. Yeah, that's true. That's oh, true. Oh yeah, because there's different well because yeah. right needs, now he only, distances, yeah. he only needs to render creatures. Mm. at different depths mm. but he needs to render walls along the side but you know he'd have to do more more of that mm. to do that yeah Once stupid the... stupid question it like could you have an open space where it's black like the back wall's black right now long corridors look black in the distance yeah oh and like the sides can be black the sides but... you can see the sides but like you 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 would see one side wall and oh, the rest you know would be black you could do is make a just bunch curious. of four-way corridors, but with black walls yeah. that you just can't see. You can't see, so you're passing through walls, black walls. Maybe that's a workaround. I, I, I just that's I don't possible. Know. Yeah. But of course, they all. It would look... only work in a dungeon, and it would only work but, where you don't have light. Yeah, but they'd yeah. all look black. It would just be a black open area. Yeah, but then as you step of... forward, then you might see the back wall. Is is all I'm saying. That brings us to the same. Oh no, he's already got a wall coming towards you. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was we're changing just a thought. the whole game. I'm just talking and <laughs> in, in just talking out loud. Yeah. You can have three objects and three creatures directly in front of the player anymore, and things wouldn't be able to have their own, own palettes. palettes. Yeah. Oh, because there's programming issues yes. beyond what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Still um, very cool. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. 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 And I can see him populating the game more with more things in those areas yeah, yeah. like more enemies or yeah. i don't know 
So right now it's a lot of 1.9 down, almost one up. That should be plenty. Oh no, because we broadcast at 1.5 right now. So it's right on the edge of what you can do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, sorry about your, <laughs> if it's selectable, then bump it down. Because yeah. sometimes you can select different speeds. Yeah. Um, so the games we played tonight, Popeye. Awesome. Excellent. Beautiful. Awesome. Beautiful. I hope he takes it right to the end and makes all three screens or at least, at least make all finish three that screens one. or yeah. Finish the one screen. Oh, with, it looks with great. With the sea hag and throwing the ball. If you can throw it. Yeah. yeah. Cause he's so close it's to really, being really good. done the really, first really, really uh, nice. level of it. Yeah. Robotron 2084. Um, lots of fun as mm. per usual. Mm. The upgrades are great. Um, he was quick on the draw to yes. fix up the fix it up. broken John. game. <laughs> It's so crazy. That's amazing. He's yeah. Such a quick and talented program. Yeah. <laughs> when I watched the recording of the last stream of Wednesday, I was hoping to fill in a bunch of stuff for today, but didn't get to it in time. Oh, no. That's, oh, that's it okay. It still looks great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we played it from start to finish. We yeah. saw the whole thing, which is awesome. Amazing. And hopefully so helpful good. for you. Yeah. Um, seeing where we got stuck and. Yeah. Yeah, next time. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when you're done the game. Yeah. <laughs> that was a long stream. Yeah. It's very we'll do very we'll, we'll do it again for sure though. No, if he updates it. We'll I need do a it full again. map. Yeah. I would have to have a full exact map. <laughs> um yeah, and then Spire of the Ancients, the third game we played. Uh unbelievable. Um mm. it's such an expansive, huge game for the seventy eight hundred. Amazing. I don't know how many other games there are like that. Yeah. Um for the 7800? Yeah, for the 7800. Yeah. Because I'm not intimately familiar with the full catalog of Homebrew like on and the, the original. Yeah. Yeah. Whether there's even been a 3D maze game like this. Has there? I'm sure Smitty would know. Yeah. Um, but it's none that I know of. Then yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah. amazing that you're pushing the technology forward of what can be done on the 7800 or showing what can be done. Yeah. Um, so next episode, I don't think there's anything scheduled um i think there's some things in the pipeline that i might that might be coming up no it's all to be determined yeah <laughs> off into the distance yeah but i have lots of things on a list that i can play at any time okay and i'll probably throw in a fill it in yeah uh, an activision patch challenge nice. as well excellent a harder one this time because i've been doing oh, a string easy. of super easy ones yeah. that i beat in like the second try well you redid uh, barnstorming that wasn't easy that was i would say you had to come back to hard. it yeah you had to come back to i wouldn't that say one. hard it but was, medium hard, hard. Medium. not impossibly hard yeah. not impossibly hard yep 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 I'll, I'll either revisit one that i had trouble with or do a new one probably revisit like beam rider oh my god oh yeah that one <sighs> so a long time. A long time. <laughs> um, and of course, we have the developer spotlight on John Champo. Nice. That's to be determined when that is. That'll be when um, his uh, games come out on mm. cartridge. Uh, which game is it? The one not the one we played today. The one before. I don't know. My brain's dead right now. Galaga? No. Nope. Just put that out. Uh, I don't know. Somebody type Zookeeper? in the chat. Zookeeper yeah. comes out. Um, yeah, uh, Robotron's in the winter. That's when that's going to come out. Oh, cool. Okay. Because yeah, it's so close. Yeah. Yeah, Zookeeper's done, done, done. Um, and Avalanche. So that's when we'll do it, when those both come out. Cool. That sounds and cool. so yeah. that's probably going to be after our renovations, but who knows how long that's going to take, too. Mm -hmm. So thanks for hanging out with us, yes. everybody. Thank you, Smitty. Yes. Uh, for... Helping, uh, guiding us through, getting the whole us thing. through, <laughs> and hanging, hanging in there. As yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. And I opta or lopta. It's not a good font. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a sans serif font. Yep. Um, so it could be lopta or I opta. Yeah. With a capital I. Yeah. Uh, it's Captain Classic, Metal Lunar, Metal Atari, nineteen sixty nine, Flacket. Lopta with an L. Oh, yeah. there we go. Lopta. lopta. Excellent. Yeah, it's, I, that's what I thought. I opta is kind of a weird one uh who else lots of the same people because everybody gave up maybe it's 6 a.m there not sure whether to go to bed or make breakfast both yeah <laughs> eat breakfast then go to bed yeah uh nathan strum popped in here uh surprised we're still doing it yeah. um <laughs> still going still who going else? same people for a long yeah, time arena foot. foot i know he had to go 
the D train, train, MK Smith, and everybody else. Oh, Nathan Strump's still there. Good show. I'm giving the benefit of doubt. I missed most of it. <laughs> it was good. It was just long. Yes. Um, this one, because I knew this would be a long game. Not this long. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. Um, so I did two short games. Robotron update. Andrew Davey. Popeye update. Oh, yeah. Andrew Davey's still here. Hey, Andrew Davey. Yeah. Uh, are you in the UK? Let's see. Let's see. 8, 6 a.m.? Yeah, that would be UK-ish time. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's 10 that here. That is and it's a eight, long night. Eight hours ahead. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> it's over. Uh, we're done here. Yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be back on Tuesday evening. Yes. Yep. Because uh, Erlen won't be here for a little while. Yeah. He's uh, got he's got some he's projects got, he's to busy. do. He's busy. He's got yeah. his... Busyness has arisen again. Yes. So it's all Tanya, all Tuesdays. Tanya Tuesdays. Yay. <laughs> and then it'll be Darcy. Darcy next every Friday. second Friday. Yeah. yeah. He'll be back on Friday. So. And uh, that's it. So thanks for hanging out, and yeah. we'll see you on Tuesday. Absolutely. Bye everyone. Bye bye. -bye.